Hey everybody, welcome to the Adult Babies Podcast, episode 99, Wayne Gretzky. I guess I have to do a, a number. I am B. <laughs> I'm Chick. And we have two very special guests, uh, Crystal and Jenna. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome it, aboard, ladies. Why are you looking at me that way? Because <laughs> I just don't know what you were talking about with the numbers. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, you might as well fill Yeah, I in. have to fill you. So Crystal. this is the last time I could do that with the numbers. So every I have this weird like thing with uh, sports guys jersey numbers. Okay. That I I know a lot of them. <laughs> I right. claim to know a lot of them. Okay. okay. So every episode I would I guess around what fifty. I don't something? know when you. Started. I don't know when I started, but I started doing uh, every episode. I'm just gonna. I think it was in the thirties. Oh, sorry. So I mean, thank God this bit is over. Then. Yeah, this is the last one. So. For most episodes, I'll try to get a, uh, like, whatever number episode it is, like, this is 99. Oh, I get I'll it. get, like, a jersey number. And I missed a few, but, you know, this is the last one, because nobody has a jersey 100. Okay. You and know? so you missed your last shot, this is, basically. Yeah, yeah. You dropped well, the ball on your okay. last shot. Well, You're I got great. the last, well, the last one, yeah. It was Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. 99? Yeah. The great He's one. He's a legend. Yeah. He is a, 99. All right, all, right. Right. all right. He is a he legend. Is. He is the great one. He's probably the greatest hockey player that ever lived right exactly so you nailed it by the way welcome to episode 99 can you believe we're at 99 episodes no this is what i'm most shocked about is how many in a row we've done yeah, aren't they all in a row yeah, well, what? <laughs> when we did we might have we were explaining to you <laughs> like before well yes every week okay. yeah. you're right you're right i didn't explain myself well elaborate exactly we did 29 Taylor quit. Yes. And then we had about a month we had or a two. Month, a month and a half. Off. And then when we started again, whether we had something to talk about or whatever the case may be, we were able to put some sort of episode Wait, out. can I ask a personal question? Please. Are you guys comfortable? Yeah. Is Are it you? better or worse without Taylor? I'll let B oh, go wow. first. Okay. I will give a, I can Ooh, give an I answer to this. I can't wait to hear this. I, from the beginning... I've been a big supporter of Taylor. Okay. T. Briss. All right. Is his name. All right. Um, <laughs> but I think that we've grown on our own. Like, we've become uh, our own show, and I think that's good. Okay. I, we've, we've sort of- uh, Evolved. Evolved. That's the word. All right. Um, with T. Briss, it was different. T. Briss is more talented than us. Uh, talented okay. in what aspect? Speaking? Yes. Everything. Okay. He's like a musical- um, I don't want to say genius, but because he's pretty fucking close. He's, like the he's, kid is really special when it comes to music and production and okay. computers and programming. So everything that we ever did with the show, he controlled. Yeah, as Got far it. as like uh, our media outlets, and he was obsessive about it. So now you guys have kind of come into your own. Yeah. So okay. you, do you think we're better with? I us? think me and B were able to grow more without Taylor because under Taylor's. Taylor, it was almost the Taylor show with us kind of like sidelining sidelining him. Okay. Right. Because, he, I mean, he controlled everything and, and it, he was damn good at it. But um, and he, he would put mess too with- much on his plate and burned himself out. And I think in that, me and B have gotten better. Okay. I've gotten better specifically without him because I've just, after, you know, a year or two. I couldn't talk into the mic. He I, would I was be very awful. critical over how he would. How, how and yeah, me and Taylor had a lot of bickering back and forth, but we were also too good of friends. I feel yeah. like we were very close outside of this, and our bickering came onto the show. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if that's a real answer, but I, no, I, it is. It not is. a real. I don't know if that's like a the straight yes or no answer, but yeah, a little bit we miss him. A little bit we found our way. I guess. All right. Yeah. Cool. There's, there's there was pluses to having him. But there were also some positives to yeah. not having doing yes, your own thing. Have, yes, exactly. So not able to spread our wings a little. You okay. girls are a guest on the show, and uh, now we—I heard about you from another radio show. You on Long Island, <laughs> like you're you're a big deal on the Long Island radio scene. Wow, you're hilarious. Um, <laughs> you're also my favorite bartender. Um, ah, uh, that's nice of you to say. You see but get red when he be, said yeah, that. Yeah, because he's lying. lying. Adam's she his favorite lying. fucking bartender, yeah. Yeah. And, which we, is fine. Can we mention where you work? Sure. It's Croxley's. It's, it's promotion. It's yes, where sir. I do all my uh, comedy shows. I, by the way, all the all the all those shows there? I noticed when I came yeah, in. You haven't been to one of them. I'm very busy. Right, she's very busy. <laughs> How do also, you work there and never make it to one of the shows? Because who wants to go to work on their day off? And I agree with That's you. True. I okay. barely want to go see I him. Mean, and it's 
you know, there's other reasons that we're not going to get into. But okay, um, fair enough. Now, Jenna, have you ever seen him perform? <laughs> or I have no this idea the first who he time, is until yeah, I walked in this the, is the door. First oh, okay. Yeah. I wasn't. Oh, oh wow, so you, that's true. How wow, do you guys I know each other? That. I dated Jenna's brother. Yes. Wow. Um, like. So she I stuck like around longer than the brother. 11, 12, 13, 14 years ago. 14 yeah. years ago. And Jenna and I got really close. And when her brother and I broke up, we remained friends. How did yeah. that go? Fine. I think More. I want to hear well. Jenna's yeah. side of this. How did that, like, how did the. How <laughs> She's did the, here, isn't she? I, yeah, yeah, no, but right I want to know how the in-house. Oh, in-house? How oh. that went when I'm they broke. Keeper, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys, when they broke up, how was the conversations with you and your brother then? He didn't care. He didn't. He didn't say, like, I don't want her around. No, well, she wouldn't come to my house or anything. I was I respectful. Would... I did the right yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. I would. Um... You disappeared like a. He still works for my brother-in-law, by the yeah, way. So we were both sure. kind of involved yeah. in each other's families for a while. Just the... and I never right. saw him, and she never saw me. And okay, that's it. And she would get drunk in high school, and instead of calling her brother at three a.m. to pick her up, she would call me, and like an idiot, I would go get her. <laughs> No, but that's a good friend. That see is that? Good. And that's friend. why you guys are still here today. We're still friends. Yeah. That is good because I don't ever see that nice, gentle side of you. You don't. Most people <laughs> don't. Everyone thinks I'm a cold hearted bitch, but I'm actually super soft in the middle. Yeah, I didn't know that. And I've known you for <laughs> uh, like almost a decade, I feel like. Yeah, I've been um, in approximately 10 years. And I've, I've known I still of you, have and I've never oh. really met you. Oh, what have you heard? No, I just, you know, from being in <laughs> sure and Gill and going awful there. Things. But, you know, she's a bitch. No, no, no. I, I knew a lot of my friends who go to that bar. They know you. So, you know, it's uh-huh. just a, a familiar face. You're you don't like, want to oh, elaborate. Okay. That uh, is very vague. You don't want to elaborate. Okay. <laughs> There's you. nothing to elaborate. That is very vague. They, <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> that is very vague. He says. I, you know, a lot of people. Uh, don't stir the pot, B. <laughs> um, the first time I met you, though, um, I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, so do I, because you don't let me forget. Yeah. So. So the first time I met Crystal, you know, Croxley's is my favorite place. It's where I go. Is it you know? your favorite? Uh, or I, is it just like your cheers? Yeah, it's like, well, yeah. It's, it? it's it's the neighborhood bar. It's close to my house. I know people there. So I guess it's like cheers. <laughs> I li- You know, I like everybody there. Uh, most people. You know, and the first time I met Crystal, I, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I walked in. I I'm, I was a gentleman of the place, you know. If you're going to tell a story. Make sure you tell her right. I will tell Thank her Thank right. you. Please I will call him out on oh, everything that's wrong. Oh, I will. Don't wrong. you worry. You know, you have a... I, I went out that, that uh, day. Uh-huh. It was, a, I, I believe, a Saturday. I, I, it was I, a Sunday. It was a Sunday. I remember. Okay, so well, you I probably know a little better. Because I was working a Sunday night, which means I come in at 7 o'clock at night. Ooh. But this is relevant to the story. Go ahead. Okay, so <laughs> I had gone out with a few of my friends. You know, we took a, uh, we took a nice drive out to the North Fork. You drove? I didn't drive, but somebody else drove. Okay. And, you know, um, we went to the wineries, had a couple of wines, you know, you do, tasting. You don't go crazy. You just have tasting. So, you know, I did some tastings. And uh, and mm-hmm. then when we got back to Farmingdale, I said, you know, well, my friends were going to Croxley's. So I said, we'll go to Croxley's. We'll have, a, we'll end the day nice. You know, it, it was a fun. Uh, I love how you go to the wineries and still end the night yeah. at uh, Croxley's. It's everybody's story at Croxley's. I know. It's just, it's mind boggling. show up after weddings, after anything. They, go it's, ahead. It's almost like, like, all right, let's, now we're home. Now, yes. you know, let's all gather and talk about the day. So I walked in ready to talk about our fantastic day we had. And I was met with a scowl. A scowl, a scowl by Crystal. And she she had... And this is your first meeting. I just... The first time I, I ever met her. I'm going to tell my side of the story as soon as he's done. Okay. So I you won't can, comment you'll until have, you're done. You'll, so have your, you'll have your podium. <laughs> okay. So I walk in there and, uh, you know, I order a drink. That Very innocent. I, I, yeah, I'll have a Guinness, please. And she's new there. It's a new bartender. So she didn't know who I was. She didn't... <laughs> At this time, were you still a local? Yes. I mean, how long? You said it was how many years ago? Ten. I started ten at Croxley's ago. 10 years yeah, ago. I've yeah, I've lived in Farming Depth my whole life. But I didn't know if Croxley's was a mainstay for you up it until... Was, it, was, it was open for like a year and a half yeah, before I, I started. I still, I, you know, right. it was n- the new place. He thinks he's a bigger deal than he is sometimes. That's not true. He definitely came in with his that dick swag. swinging. Okay, first <laughs> of all. Big dick swinging. <laughs> I walked in. Anyway, go ahead. I walked in and I was going to meet my friends and I, I, I order a drink and this new bartender, who I've never met before, she sort of gives me a look, and she doesn't serve me. And, uh, you know, I was oh. I was a little, I was confused. I didn't know why. And, uh, and I asked again. This bartender, once again, refused service on me. So then I was... Do you know who he was? 
I'll get into it. I was told he was so really? drunk. She didn't know. He was so whacked. She had then told me. I I said I said I'm sorry, ma'am, but I just I was just like a, a drink. I'm gonna ma'am. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you didn't say that, but okay. Well, go I ahead. probably said whatever I said. <laughs> that would have been your number one problem with it with this <laughs> whole with a thing. Twenty-two year old. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, go ahead. So I said I'm sorry, um, but I, can, I just want one drink. I'm I'm gonna have a, a drink quick with my friends and I'll get out of out of here. You know, no harm, no foul. And she said I'm sorry, but you have to go. And she kicked me out. In such a manner that I, I have never <laughs> been treated like this before. I it can't. was really I mean, how much of this story do you guys believe? I'm fucking 100 pounds soaking wet. I, I threw him out. I didn't so say scared. you took me by the neck and... and, and, and May I tell him my side? I sure. believe his side was how he saw Perceived it. it. Yes, exactly. Well, may I tell him my side? I guess you'll say it in your side. Okay. It now, I would say like, what did he do to get kicked out? I don't get exactly. it. I was probably there like maximum three months at this point. I'm 22 years old, and he's okay. smashed. Hold on, I have this. I just curse, tasting right? one. I had this. Not drunk. Are you guys listening or not? Oh, I am. I, I had this cunt manager who fucking hated me. She's a big fan of the podcast, by the way. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to her. Um, she come hated- over to me before he even got to the bar. He was still at the door and said, you cannot serve this group that is coming in. And I had actually the whole seen group. you in there before. And I knew who you were. And I liked oh. you. And I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Like, how am I going to turn down this kid? I was like so annoyed. She, what time was this again? Seven o'clock. This and is now, right as you got on? Yeah, no, by the way, because it was still light out. I remember the fucking day like it was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's Haven't just, forgotten. I was 22. So what did that make you? 25 max? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you think a 25-year-old was going to the wineries and having a couple of tastings? <laughs> That's why I was saying he wasn't having His tastings. His ass was probably in a fucking party he bus. Was getting trashed. Yes. He walks in. Correct. Now his shirt's inside out. Oh, what? no. You don't even look Am right. I lying? That, you're right. Okay. <laughs> He's fucking hammered. So are his friends. They were rowdy coming in. It's jolly, like- Jolly, jolly. But jolly, I, like, fine. I'm not a bad drunk. It's, it wasn't my call. Okay. It but was, you can't walk into the place And it's seven o'clock. There's show. like children and families yeah, having dinner. And they're dinner, like, well, yeah. let's fucking go. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man. I'm like, and I knew, I knew, I knew. I seen that kid in there a bunch of times. I was like, listen, I'm really sorry. I can't serve you guys. You know what the other it's thing not, we're missing on this? It wasn't my call. Is the guilt by association. Hold no. on. And the manager is standing. You weren't getting scowled out. I was getting scowled by my fucking manager <laughs> at the end of the bar who forced me to do it. I asked her to do it for me. I'm like, please don't put me in this position. She fucking hated me and she forced me to do it. And I have heard about it yes. ever since. As Ten years should. later, you still bring it up. I still feel bad. He didn't talk to me for months after that. That's like it was a personal attack. How long attack. did you guys did it take for you to start serving him and him to be like? Did you guys? He was allowed pleasant? in the next day. She just wasn't. no, but I mean, you two being pleasant with each other. Um, I don't think it was that long. I'll tell you something else. We became friendly again, and one time he invited me to a phone party in Fire Island. This is like, this is the fucking, wow, yeah. somebody who claims to have come in after a few wine tastings, and he was totally fine, but he was asking me to go to a phone party. Okay, same wow. person. Um, and okay. I didn't go. It was like Fire Island. Like, yeah, I didn't go. I'm I know sorry. Exactly I'm sorry I didn't get I just on a met ship you. Do you want to come to a phone party at my house in Fire Island? Island? Wear yeah. a white shirt. And uh, he didn't talk to me for a long time after that. So <laughs> that's not that's true. St- what a and piece that's of my shit perspective. So. All right, that's a good perspective. We all have our perspective. Now, who you are know? you with? Because I feel like this has a, a a lot to play into. I was with my regular group of friends. Yeah, just this is a not a bunch of good guys. Exactly. Um. Maybe, and I do remember, you, you, you've jogged my memory a little bit. I do remember having my shirt on inside out or something. Yeah, or backwards and I or, even, like, even after you, because you did argue with me a little bit, not argue, but you were you were nice about it. You were like, come on. And I went over to her, I'm like, he doesn't seem that bad. And she's like, his shirt's inside out, which is why I distinctly so much <laughs> remember it. And I was like, all right, I can't even argue with you. She's going to fucking fire me. I need this job, so. Yes. You gotta go. And I do you remember. Gotta go. I remember the manager because I th- I might have requested to speak to the manager. I said I need to speak. Rafaela. Yes. She was a because he thought Rafaela. he was a big time. Was Listen, yeah. badass bartender, but a tough bitch to work for. She, she sounds like a tough bitch. She does. She's beautiful, and she fucking hated. Why did me. she hate you though? I have no idea. She complained to the bosses about me. Like they had to sit you down with know. me. She ended up getting fired. 
Uh, why so did she get fired? Yeah, why? So one time, like, I wore a Shut skirt to her- work. Which, thank God, I had already cleared with my bosses that I was allowed to wear. And she calls me in the office. And she's like, put your hands on your side. So I put my hands on my side. And my skirt was above, like, my hand. And she was like, this is too short to wear to work. I was like, what is this fucking Catholic school? I'm a bartender. I was just going to say, wouldn't they want you to wear skimpy clothes? Yes. I said, well, I already spoke to the boys about it. And they said it was okay. I already spoke to the boys. Yeah, which is the (laughs) the owners. Yeah. And then another time she was like, I, and I wore, like, high neck shirts for, like, two years after this because she was like, nobody wants to see your cleavage while they're eating their dinner. I'm like... You should have been like, well, I'm the bartender, and while guys are drinking, yes, they want to see Oh, it. I was 22. I wasn't going to argue with my oh, boss. Yeah. I well, was I guess like, now, yeah, it'll be different now. Now I would tell her to go fuck herself, but, you know, 22-year-old <laughs> me, very like, these scared. are my money makers. Yeah. You were scared, yeah. I was. Well, all right. Um, I, I don't know. That's... Uh, I get I, I get your point of view and I'll never bring it up again. But yeah, right. You know, I can get I get your that point sign? of view? Yeah, you can get it signed. <laughs> I do get your point of view. And as far as the phone party in Fire Island, you missed a fantastic time. Honestly, I regret it to this day. <laughs> I'll tell you, you should, what, you I should have showed up. You should have been there, but you know, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I feel like I missed this phone party too. Yeah, I don't think you. You know, they skeeve me out yeah, a little bit. It's like you're taking a bathtub with a bunch of people you don't know. Really, I know it is a little weird. It really is that way. It's. I'm even weird about public pools. I feel like it's the same thing. I, now no, I, I would you. love to go to one. Like I don't know if they do it. They <laughs> yeah, used to do it. She's on, thinking like, about it in her head. Like yes. Yeah, she's like, how do I put amazing. this together? <laughs> <laughs> Jenna, they is were this an annual thing. They Can used to do it every Thursday night at this bar in Fire Island. Yeah. And we went a few times, and the first few times it was fantastic because the foam is like above oh, wait, your is head. It in, um, Ocean Bay Park, Ocean Beach. Oh, Ocean Beach. It's an Ocean Beach. It, it was a place called the Sandbar. Okay. And they used to rope it. it off, and and you would go in. It was like they would net you in, and then they would the foam would come from the ceiling. Yes. And really? when you're in your early twenties, you're like, this oh, is it's amazing. really amazing. Yeah. And then they would have like. The window, the front of the window to the place where there'd be like kids outside eating ice cream. No, <laughs> yes. are you then, kidding? And, and you'd like make your way through the foam and, like, <laughs> <laughs> and torture the children. They're yes. scarred for life. They're scarred for life. And then you would walk out of there covered in foam and just oh, like a good time though. Just like you would walk. And then even though it was the summer, it, you'd be freezing because you were like, it's like you know, yeah, barn. soaking wet. Yeah, yeah. But they were great times. We we only did it. We probably did it under ten times, but like they. That's were a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, I, a lot. To, I go to Fire Island maybe once a year yeah, every right. summer. Yeah. I mean, in your defense, you have the house. Yeah, but I had a house. My parents had a house. Oh, there. So oh we were, excuse me. Okay, see. Wow. <laughs> we so, had a house. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we were going there. Um, but. Yeah, not you know. I've the... never been to Bordy Barn, and that's what it reminds me of. Even though I've never been there. Yeah, Bordy Barn's. Bordy Barn's a great time. Yeah, I, I. I'm had... on. I'm on the wall there. Are you really? Yeah, there's a picture of me. Oh my Doing god! I'm like what? walking in. Um, actually, <laughs> I was just thinking, is she like <laughs> flashing I, somebody? I, like, what oh, are you? Yeah, like what did mid, you do? I'm like trying to flash if I if that was allowed. <laughs> but like you know, when you walk in, there's the camera and you yes. take a picture. So I was like pulling my shirt down and I was just like making this weird face. <laughs> oh my god! Just a regular <laughs> Tuesday for you. Regular <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> That's yeah. fantastic. Good so, for you. I never understood the hype about Let me tell barn. you something. I don't drink beer. I never wanted to go. I got forced to go last year at 31 years old, and I was oh, like, this yeah, is going to be fucking it, miserable. I don't want to go. I, I had the most fun <laughs> out of you? anybody there. You should definitely go. I, I got to try it. Then. He's not I thought a drinker I was at all. I'm life. not a drinker. I'm like a pothead, and I, you, you know. All right, I'm, so you could smoke before, and then. No, that's not going to be fun unless you have a few drinks. I disagree. Because I hate. I all would the drink. I'm not like there. anti-drinking. I just don't usually party well, too day, much. Well, that day I would so shift through that. Yeah, you yeah. should definitely. Drink but like a bit. the whole thing that used to turn me off about it was the weight. Don't you gotta wait like there was like oh, nobody yeah. there when I went and I still had a ball. I mean, maybe oh, it's really? not as yeah. bad. No, but that, wasn't that the whole thing? That, that's like, what was like. If you're going there, you have to get there early in the morning, uh-huh. and like it's a two-hour. They like, they they. They line you That's up like a cattle. That's part of it, cattle. though. It's like the anticipation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess. It was fun. And then they let you in. They let like 20 people in at a time. You're like, hey, we're getting close. Yeah. We're getting and then, close. You know what's funny? I was there one time, and my friend goes, uh, we're sitting like in the bar area having like those just, just awful shitty cups of beer. And he goes, <laughs> he's looking around. He goes, you see that? They, they're putting something in the air. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like... 
They're putting like happy juice in the air. There's no reason we should be this happy. <laughs> like he was convinced that they were like shooting like AC. They're putting yeah. oxygen. I was just gonna say, yeah. Yeah, like he was convinced yes. that they were putting something Honestly, into this. Honestly, it might be true because I don't like any of those songs. I don't drink beer, and I was fucking bouncing around. And I'm like, yeah. I'm too old for this. I'm not going. They probably are pumping oxygen in there. Ball. It might be, but he figured it out. He was like, they're pumping something in here because we they all shouldn't be. be this happy. That that would explain it. And maybe that's it. maybe he figured it out. But maybe yeah. that is the. Uh... I remember one time I went there. I was so drunk, and I thought the DJ called my name. <laughs> oh, I thought yeah. he was like Jenna Scalise, come to the DJ booth. So I was like, Oh my god! And I started like <laughs> running up to everyone. I was like, The DJ uh... called my name, and I like went up to the booth, and I was like, what It's you... me. And he was like, What? What are you <laughs> doing like, here? And then I was like, How do I get up there? And he's just like pointed to like a side door. So I started like running, and I started knocking on the door, and I was like, You said my name, and they were like. Like, oh what are you my talking God. Did they let you like, up? But I saw me and my friend, we found, because if you go online, they have, like, the videos and the pictures from, like, each day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and God. we found a video where, like, I heard him say it, and it literally sounds like he's saying my name. Do you know what it he was, was saying? Crazy. No, I it's have no idea. It's a lot of footage of you <laughs> But I, I thought he was saying my yeah. name. Yeah, wow, you're right. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. We got video. We got photos. Yeah. You're on the wall. I was freaking out. It was, like, the best five minutes of my life. Oh I man! Like, How does the DJ know I'm here <laughs> That's and want to talk to me? The DJ Paulie D. Yeah. Oh, good times over there. Yeah. See, I'm. I'm, I'm I, 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 that's one thing I guess I, I missed out. All on All right, that this one. summer I'm taking you over there. I'm taking me. I'm coming with. Yeah, yeah I'm we're coming going with. Party we're gonna, Let's do it. We're gonna have an episode 99 reunion. <laughs> we'll take <laughs> the reunion. Oh, yeah. Chick goes let's to Bordy go. Barn. That would be. You'll fun. get on the wall. Get like a body cam. Yeah. Just to see my, you know, see how it goes. Oh God. Um. Yeah, I would love to go back there. It's been years. It's been years for me. <laughs> but Neptune's is my shit. Oh that's my what, god, that's I, what I, was doing. I went to Neptune's a couple times too. That was see, I uh, always, I always thought that there's a chance that one of these guys is gonna squash my head over there. No, but when you go there, it is a bunch of juice heads, and you but, and I used to. My brother happens to be gay, and we used to go together all the time. Yeah. And you would think. You're walking in. It's all these like beefy Italian guys, yep. like their shirts off, like they're gonna be complete assholes. They'd be like, because everybody's on so much drugs. <laughs> they would be like hugging my brother, That's dancing with him, and it was just like a world of acceptance. And it's so not what you expect it drugs to be. Drugs make everything better when yeah. it comes down to stuff like well, that. Yeah, you're it was a right. it was a very happy place, and it is no longer R.I.P. Do you? There was recently I was with somebody on Long Island. Do you remember the picture girl from? Absolutely. Okay. So she was around, like, uh, I guess there was a Neptune's anniversary <gasps> at Pops. Oh, my God. And, I would have went. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm so upset. And the same picture girl was there taking pictures. Pops is now fucking closed. No way. Are it's you closed. serious? Pops is closing? So I've never been to Pops. I actually I went to Pops for Memorial Day last weekend and had the, f- last weekend, <laughs> last year, and yeah. had the time of my life. It was literally everybody that went to Neptune. So everyone was like 40, 50 years old in the same outfits from like 1999. This is the same day I was there. It was amazing. No, because I, it wasn't a you, like a wasn't, Neptune's okay. party. Right. Isn't Pops relatively new? Not like I don't know, but years. I heard that they're closed this year. Yeah, so that's crazy. That's uh, that's too bad. I always like that place. This yeah. reminds me of like the Jersey Shore fucking reunion. You exactly see all these people? Oh, I'm so. What do you mean? I recorded it. I watched oh. it Thursday night. I've been watching. Flora I used to Bama watch Shore. the show, and I I can't get into What's the, the reunion. I can't get on board. It's yeah. so Is bad. it good? It's so good. It's, oh, it's so it, bad. It's good. Well, that's listen. I know that's what I. You know, that's the whole. It was so bad that it was good, and I used to watch it. But I might have to give the reunion a shot. Do it. I'll give the. I, I, I've watched. I think every. Uh, I just look season. at them and they look so old now. What do you mean? Polly looks exactly I the guess. same. No, I mean I don't. I don't even mean like old, like decrepit looking. It's just like they're in their forties. <laughs> Actually, like, Snooky, she didn't look the same last season because she got like really skinny and got like a ton of work done. But this season, yeah. she happens to look more like she did when she was a kid. And I saw that. Jenny and Paulie might hook up, and I've been waiting my whole oh life for this. Oh, my so God. Jenny and Paulie did. I hope it happens. Now that she's divorced, Very he, excited. like, said something that he was going after it, and I, I'm here for it. Okay. I was always a fan of Vinny was the one I liked. He's yeah. the biggest nerd on there. I don't even know how he's on that show. Yeah, but he seems like a <laughs> nice guy. He's not like, I mean, I'm not, yeah. who was, what was the other meathead in, uh, uh, the situation, Mike? Yeah. No, not the oh, situation. Ronnie. Ronnie. Him and his, who's, uh, J- no, he wasn't dating Jenny. Uh, Sammy? He was dating Sammy, 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 Sammy Sammy Sweetheart. Sammy Sammy Sweetheart, yes. Yeah. The best, worst relationship to watch <laughs> no, of all time. Was the- <laughs> <laughs> it was great to watch that unfold, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. It was so bad that it was entertaining to watch. I guess I got to give the it's reunion a shot. It's still the same. Shot. Go for it. 
I'm, I'm gonna. I didn't watch when the new season on? yet. Thursday, on, Thursday night, Thursday, Jersey. Right now, Thursday, yeah, Thursday. it just started Thursday. last week. Oh. I'm such a loser. That well, I that's know. why I knew that it was coming back out. So no, listen. I got way into the Florabama Shore, guys. Oh, I love that too. Like, I'm never wait, what it. do they do, Florabama? Yeah, it's like down south Jersey Shore. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. It's like it's is it hit. better? I no, feel like that's different. Gold it's, different. It's, it's different. But it's I kind of like you know. I guess they're not as famous as the Jersey, obviously, as as the Jersey Shore people. No way. But I kind of I enjoyed that show. I, I re- like I watched every episode. Of this Me too. Wait, did you watch seasons. Party Down South before that? <laughs> no. Oh my I god! I so, you need to watch that. That was better than Florida Bama Shore. What's Party Down South? What? Um, That's on MTV. It was on CMT, maybe. Oh, country music. I don't know. Really? Yeah, probably. Dude, so good. Did you guys? Were you guys real like original Real World Road Rules yep. fans? I've yeah. been. That was like I love that like show. Real World Seattle. I've I've <laughs> yes. loved reality like TV the beginning, since yes. then. That, well, since that the started it. Was getting that was it. That yes. was the beginning of it. That yep. and Survivor. But it we was really more of that. We have talked about the Osborne. <gasps> the Osborne, right. Shara. Like, yeah. Yes, the Osborne. The best. I wish I would come back. He's that so stupid. so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> but I, we have talked about uh, the original Real World on this show. That was such a great show. The and original th- Real World, like what Puck and fucking Dave. Wow, and Puck. Yeah, I haven't thought about that. That was the greatest show ever. Where's that guy now? They would find it was like... Let's find a black person from New York or yep. a white racist from the South. And Honestly, gonna... genius, though. Yeah. Are you kidding? We'll find genius. A, find, yeah, somebody from uh, the LGBT on the West Coast, and let's put them all in a house yep. and see what the fuck happens. Exactly. A few people. There's there's a comedian, Theo Vaughn, that's from the real world. He's doing really well. Yeah, I'll tell you where they all are. They're doing the fucking challenges that are still yeah. going on on MTV. How? Did you watch the challenges? <laughs> nah. See, neither did not I. I never me. got into those. I, don't, I want to like see you much. make a disaster yes, of yourself, exactly. not climb a wall. I don't <laughs> want to see you compete and win. I want to yeah. see you fucking blow up and exactly. blow your life up. <sighs> such a great show. <laughs> was such a- Speaking of reality. Yeah. <laughs> what? Bravo. How's dating going? Uh, oh, wow. All right. What That's, a transition! Yeah, oh, like that, that was a nice transition. You, have, you want to be a go- guest on the show? Connections. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny because uh, you you really are a real radio gal. Oh yeah, I um, <laughs> gal. Natural. I had I, natural I, radio gal. All right, so I am out of the game. You know, I'm uh, I, I since am when? I, since forever. <laughs> since, <laughs> when? since the sandbox. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, B, when was the it. last girl you dated? I dated a girl. Uh, I took to my sister's wedding. The dancer? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, this is. A, I don't want. I'm not. Talk, I'm talking about serious, like a girlfriend. Okay, I dated this girl. Um, that it was a. I met her on OK Cupid. Okay. And okay. I gave it a real. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. I I signed up for OK Cupid. You know? Okay. I was in that mode. I was like, I think I'm gonna date somebody. You know. Yeah. And I prefer to meet somebody in person. That's my mode of transportation to a relationship. Transportation. Okay. <laughs> meet somebody in person. But whatever the the thing was in my life going on then, I was like, I'm gonna download this. And it was the first girl I actually messaged was this girl. Um, uh, and we went out on a date, and that was a girl I dated for a while. Like I only it was it was, a while, uh, under a year. <laughs> okay, I but it was get I, it going. It was the first girl I messaged. It was weird. It Wait, was like, what's yeah. your longest relationship, and who did you date before dating apps? I dated a girl for on and off for like almost six years or something like okay. that. Okay. I feel like there was a lot of off in that one. There was, yeah, in the beginning it was a lot of on and then there was off and then on and then, you know, one of those things. And So off and on. Yeah, so <laughs> off and on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was real love Okay, though. wait, how old? It was <laughs> real <laughs> Wait, how old were you when you started the OK Cupid thing? Okay, so that was, I want to say maybe five years ago wow okay and that's the last like real relationship you had five probably, years ago yeah. for a year okay yeah. and, wow, and you're longer than me we gotta get we gotta get you back on the horse i know i know so i i uh i had downloaded this this okay cupid thing by the way i got a great bit out of it so it all works out but um <laughs> but i uh I, the first girl i <laughs> messaged was idiot. this was this nice girl and we met and uh and it lasted a little while. I took her to my sister's wedding, uh, and then 
I remember it was it was like okay. Well, I know exactly. Our first date was on St. Patrick's Day, so it's coming up on our anniversary. That was your oh. first. Oh, that was the day you decided to take her out for the first time. Oh, so it was five months, and then uh, and then Fourth of July. I remember Fourth of July came, and I was in Long Beach with her. And, I and you were like, I'm over this bitch. Yes. And, and, <laughs> I knew it. And yeah. I remember saying to my friends, because it was 4th of July weekend. She sucks. I was like, you don't fire somebody on a holiday. I think I'll wait you till next week. <laughs> you you are cold like, bit. What are you, that's fucking 15? That's what I'm yeah. saying. He's not good at handling I'm not good at things. handling things. Um, because I, all right, but in my defense, I knew it wasn't going to work out. That's why you should have let it go sooner. I let it's, it go. It's, it's worse to drag it on. I took her to my sister's wedding, so she was. Wait, I had a date. hold on. Yeah, all this love advice. <laughs> See, I don't. What's like your fucking you're dating there. story? Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, the last girlfriend I dated was a drug addict, and <laughs> well, we you dated definitely want to take this advice. No, yeah. I give very good advice. Uh-huh, I'm uh-huh. just not very. You're like a good. coach. Yes, exactly. I'm not a coach, a not a player. I'm not Got a player. It. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, I just had to. Call no, you no, out. yeah. Feel There's free a reason why we're called the Adult Babies Podcast. Fact. So I uh, I took her to my sister's wedding. It was great. I had a great time with her, but I knew. You know when she you're in a, what the was the one? moment? <laughs> share with us. I do know the moment, and I can't share it with you. Why? Because I kn- she gives terrible blowjobs. Uh, no, she that she's wouldn't fine. do it. Honestly. What do you mean? Like he? Can't, why can't he share the moment? Does she listen? I don't know. I don't think so. But Dude, I just fucking right, so say it. it. But I think this I. This is I, safe. I space. think I met. Nobody's <laughs> listening. I yeah, met. That's what I will yeah. tell Just them. us. <laughs> no one will hear this. It's going to be who guys. listens and who they tell to I listen. Uh, and we have I, no friends. Here you go. I, I, uh, I was out one night and I met somebody else and I was like, oh, man. Oh, like, I want to hit would that. Much rather. Like, not I'm not trying uh, to try to hit you this. Know what? That's a, definitely hit that. That's a very bad sign. It was a that's bad the sign. moment. Okay. And, and I, like, I wasn't going to do anything, but I was like, I was kind of disappointed. I was like, ah. Oh. And it was the first time I was like, I'm in a relationship. And I, I was like, I wish I wasn't to talk to this girl because I was getting vibes from this girl. Okay, but like, are you like a bigger, better deal person? What does that mean? It means like, you're dating someone does it a bigger, matter better who deal? you're dating? Like, if somebody better comes along, no. it's going to catch your eye and be like, bye. Like, no, 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 no. He can barely break up with anybody. No, that's not big at all. Yeah. No, I... He I, wouldn't be able to get rid of the other person. Well, I, he obviously didn't, but I'm saying it disappointed him that he was interested oh, yeah. in somebody else. <laughs> I remember where I was, and I saw this girl, and I was like, "And picture it, the ice cream shop." It, no, it was it was uh, it was in Long Beach, and it was a uh, it was a place, and I I I kind of crossed paths with this girl, and we had a look, and I met her a few times, and she she gave me a little brush of the arm, like it was very Ooh. it was very sexy. Oh, it looks I, very it sensual was, the way he's. Yeah. I wish you guys could see this. She she touched my forearm in such a way that. Uh, it I, I it was a little slow, slow and light. Yeah, 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 he really is. He's caressing his arm. Yeah. Explain <laughs> it to the people. I haven't been touched this way since. <laughs> 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 and no, she so she kind of like rubbed against my forearm, and I, and it was more and 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 her hand stayed there a little longer. I can't than believe you lingered. remember it to detail. this yes. still. Yeah, yeah. This really affected him. That's what I'm saying. It did. She doesn't even live in the state anymore. So like, and I was like, oh my god, and. uh <laughs> And, it, you know, like I felt something in the touch of her hand. Ooh, and I was like, this girl's good. And this I was girl like, is I, don't, good. I don't know if I feel that in the girl's hand that I'm holding. Ooh, you know what you I mean? You don't want that. <laughs> so, so that was a sign. So I, uh, I, so yeah. you said I'll let her stay the holiday. And then, so, uh, yeah. And then, this after. and then, and then that 4th of July weekend, we went out. We were, we were in Long Beach at my friend's apartment. And I was telling everybody, like, I was like, it's over. And then. That's awful, by the way. It is you awful. You should maybe point. tell her first. I didn't tell And you. then tell all You're your right. friends. You're right. You're right. And and I, uh, but I only, it wasn't like every, it was like two or three people, okay. you know, of my close friends. That makes it better. This is why I, I have numerous reasons why, but the moment. You are over and you're done with somebody, you have to let them know immediately. Okay, but I did, but that moment we were together. So what am I going to do? Like that moment, like a, I'm, I'm at a place and this girl touches me on the forearm and then I'm like, I turn to her, I'm like, I think it's over. That girl <laughs> okay, just touched me. Maybe tomorrow, real. I'm just saying. She correct. Like- well, it was two weeks later. It, I, I had to get my thoughts together and. I just feel like a lot could happen in that two weeks to suck Ooh. you in. No, I knew. I knew. I knew I was going to do it. <laughs> So here's the thing. So what I did that night, one of the, 
she got really drunk that night, and I think it was the first time she got the vibes that I wasn't into it because I flip real fast. I fall in love real fast. That's you one fall thing. Fall hard, fall out real quick. And then I'm like done. Then maybe it's not real love. Possibly. He's possibly. Just, yeah. He gets infatuated. Right? Yeah. 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 Don't we all, though, a little bit? Yeah, of course. Not always. Yeah. So that weekend, I was just sort of not feeling it. And then I remember she got drunk, and she wasn't like a big drinker. And I left because I was like, we were sort of arguing. I went back to my friend's apartment. I heard from other sources. My friends were in a in a cab with this lady. Where is this going? <laughs> she this hopped. Is a typical B story. You just bear with them. She land the plane. She Where's hopped out of the car. <laughs> in the cab uh, on the way. This is good. Crystal. <laughs> I just keep can't. going. No, I hear you. This is this is what I just try and wait for him to get a punchline, and then he gets mad when There's I cut no him off. There's no punchline. I'm telling you what happened. My friends are in the cab, and on the way back to the apartment, apparently, my friend texted his other friend. She jumped out of the cab. She's what? like, I'm gonna go find him, and uh-huh. it was one of those situations. Yeah, she we jumped out of a there. cab. Well, you've jumped out of a cab yeah, looking for somebody. You? No. <laughs> okay, so we haven't all been there. <laughs> but I'm saying. Don't make them feel better. And then I, and then I, trying. I, t- I told her, like, eventually, I was like, we're going to, I just like, it's not working out. And then she showed up at my house because she had stuff at the house. And she showed up with a iced tea from Dunkin' Donuts, which she knows I liked. So she Very showed sweet. up with an iced tea and she was like, here you go. And I had to put her bike back in her the trunk of her car, and it didn't fit, and it was just oh. I, I was just trying to end the How relationship. Were you with her again before? What when, when you year, accumulated all no, this stuff? No, it was less than that. I figured out because it, it started in uh, March and ended July. And this is Fourth of July, not even close to a fucking <laughs> year. Are you serious? Like fucking but it felt months. like a year. She's <laughs> leaving her damn bicycle at your house. What the fuck? Well, we would go on the That's what I'm saying too. Is you don't leave anything at anybody's house until like six months minimum. Yeah, oh, we were like at the five minimum. Level. Listen, I, I you just, you, you I don't just, make a lot of great decisions. I'm still getting over just thinking about him <laughs> driving around on a bike, <laughs> like around the neighborhood with his girlfriend, with like a fucking basket. <laughs> what, what are you guys doing? I lived at the time. I lived by the uh, by the Beth Page State Parkway. The, the, the bike parkway, ride, the bike, together. Yeah, not the park. We didn't go on the parkway. <laughs> I lived by a bike path, and I was riding my bike all the time. So there was, like, a nice lake there. So, you know, we would go on little bike rides and stuff. I never understood the whole That's bike ride thing together. It was nice. No, just because you can't really talk. Why not walk together instead okay. of the bike ride? So, <gasps> or get one of those bikes that have two seats. The dual bikes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Kind of bike. That's go. not weird. Yeah. Definitely do it. I definitely do it. <laughs> You're in a tandem bike, and then the relationship <laughs> ends. What do you do with the other bike? Just okay, saw it off. <laughs> Or is there a part that just comes off like, all right, well, you, you, or you could just like drive around and be like, the seat's open. <laughs> yeah, <All right>. Exactly. <laughs> I just got rid of this one. Seat's not taken anymore. Oh, God. So, yeah. <laughs> but I will say I've been off the market for a little while. I meet people all the time. This you know? story was five years ago. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've been off a the market. A little while. Five. We Rec- got to get you back out there. Wait, but what, ASAP. Yeah. What happened with the elbow girl? The what? what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl like, who touched, caressed, who caressed your, arm your arm so sexually. Like, the elbow again? touch girl. <laughs> Bad timing. Imagine was... this girl, like, I broke up a relationship one time by touching, touching somebody's his elbow. elbow in an ice cream shop. Like, what? Into him. She, she has no idea. To. She has no idea. I hope she's listening. Yeah, so, I hope so, too. Do you still talk to Miss her? Misconnections.com. No, no. Misconnections. She's gone. She, Is that she, an actual thing? It used to be a thing like on Craigslist, misconnections. You could like go and like put your story if and hope somebody. Really? <laughs> yes, no, this is a real thing. It's, it is a real thing. It's By a way, real thing. It's very. And it's did anybody romantic if it ever happened? In did anybody life. ever, or do you just meet somebody else? Like, oh, that sounds like a cool story. <laughs> I'm oh, him. that would be <laughs> fucked up. I never I'm even about thought to do of that. that. Yeah, just start stealing people's stories. See if wow. one clicks. Yeah, but That's you'd really figure fucked it out. up. But like. Um, if you I, figure I, if I had if if the wrong person's like I, that's not the guy that I remember, but like if my my uh, misconnection was like uh, you I was at uh, I uh, I was there and you <laughs> walked you okay? past me and <laughs> shut up and he lost her and he can't even fucking hold and, uh, together. You touched my forearm and I felt things like that's what it would be. Nobody's gonna she was, yes she had no idea that she See, made I thought me. You actually had conversated with this girl and the touch was like I'll prove your feelings. No, we did. This we, is even weirder that you just, <laughs> she just randomly no, touched maybe you. Maybe you've like 
She, no, no, telepathy. Excited. We did talk. We 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 had talked before. Elbow. See if see if I no, it wasn't yeah. like that. I got nothing. No sparks. No. Sparks. no sparks. I have to point. No, it wasn't. It was also like a deep look in my eye. Like she. she listen, s- I listen. I contact. See why get girls you. have guys that yes. are very thirsty over them because the littlest thing a female can do leaves you this result. That You're, doesn't fucking ever happen. This, is this kid's different. got issues. This is, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different... I did... You see just a, a, a gradual I would nod. have by you every just, guy's elbow I touch or Be careful the me. next time you touch somebody's arm to not cur- like gently caress it or else you might... Thank God there's a bar between me and every man I interact with. First of all, I had a relationship, not a not a uh, a relationship, but I I knew this girl, and it was sort of. A, a, what do you mean you knew her? Like I, you knew her? Yeah, yeah, we knew each other. Like you guys slept together? We never slept together, but like Did we you had ever talked. Mo- you have a kiss? We never kissed. We ne- because if it would have happened that night, away? I'm telling you, I'm telling you what happened that night, and and I I uh, we had like a good thing going on, and then this happened where we were both out, and sparks flew. Maybe just for me, I don't know. Sparks so. maybe didn't. Yeah, it was, you're probably right. It was probably just me, but I never pursued it, of course. And then she left. She moved away. So, like, you break up with this other girl. Why don't yeah. you pursue the elbow check? Yeah, I don't understand. Because I, at that point, the breakup the moment was, passed. You what? You wanted to pu- <laughs> like punish yourself? No. Because I I wasn't gonna jump right back in. and, and why it, I don't understand. Oh, give me a the break! You that, dated someone you, for four months. Like that's months, what I'm saying. The, the like, rules that right. people in put the on each other. Nothing. Do whatever you it want. It wasn't rules. I didn't want to get in. I was like, ah, that was so too much for me. Yeah, but one thing has nothing to do with the other. I'm with you. I can't believe we're here. This is <laughs> where we're at now. You don't like being on the hot seat. No, I didn't think. No, you don't want me to come on the show ever again. And honestly, I love it because usually I'm the one who gets put in the hot seat when it comes to relationships or why I'm single. And I'm glad it's somebody else for once. I choose to be where I am. I I choose to be too. No, you don't. (laughs) You're open to meeting someone. I'm not. Is he though? Because like the other day, he downloaded. Well, we what? can get it. We'll go. I'll get into that. What you okay. say? I said, is he really open? Because the other day he downloaded. Am I allowed to say this? You say it. Okay. You. What is it called? It's called Hinge. I downloaded. He Hinge. downloaded Hinge for like twenty minutes and then paused it because he's <laughs> because he's not self confident enough in that aspect. Let's he look th- at your he profile. He second guesses All everything right. too much, so he's not. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll bring. You know, it has to be perfect before he puts it out there. But he wants to meet somebody. Yeah. I'm not. I can't I don't know if I do. Like the way I look at it, I can't give another girl what I would like to do in a relationship now, so I stay away completely because it's what, just not can fair. Can you not? I'm, I, I got, can't I gotta wait get to my hear own, this. I just have to get my own life in order. I'm a disaster. He right does now. have to get his I life I live at home. Order. I'm a fucking mess. I don't need so to be you, anybody okay, else's. Okay, that's not, that's, not, that's not you can't give somebody else what they want. You just want to get your own shit right. Well, yeah, first. whatever way you want. Yeah, okay. however you, but I also don't think it would be fair to put my situation on anybody at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's at the moment. You. At the moment. All right. I'm not saying never, but so until I feel like, you know, you know, until my situation is better, I, I just don't even really listen. If You're something not fell on my it. lap, things happen. Right. But I don't try not at all. Not looking for it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We were going to do that whole Tinder thing with me yeah. and just kind of see, have some fun with it. B would meet somebody. B's out there. What do you mean out there? You're not... As closed off as I am? Yes. So you're open to it. You're I not... I agree with that. Yeah, that's that's you know that's, that's what I'm saying. All right, so I, I downloaded this dumb hinge thing because that's what all the kids are doing, right? <laughs> and I didn't... I, I, I picked one, two, three... I put uh, six photos. I want you guys to judge my photos. Okay. Oh, I can't wait for this. Um, yeah, we need a female's perspective on this. I'm now, ready. here's the thing. When I do these dating websites, I, I try to be like... Like have real good answers that they have on there but i didn't spend much time on them so my answers aren't great you know these things are fucked up because you don't want to look like you're trying too hard but you also don't want to look like you're fucking lazy and like not really into it like i don't even know how you guys go about and that's what i and that's my next question before we even hear yours is what do you girls look for and then we'll see that's a great question i'll tell you exactly what i would look for funny Number one. But you yeah. don't know a guy's funny yet until you meet him. So like I'm talking you, about off a true, profile. But, like, you could they you want someone who's genuine. Yeah. Genuine doesn't take themselves too seriously. Yeah. Obviously So what kind of photos prove that though? I mean, first of all, don't put a gym photo. 
No gym oh, photos. Oh, all my gym photos are on. <laughs> take down your gym photos. <laughs> I got to take those. No, there's clothes no gym Clothes on photo. or off? On. on. All, right. all my clothes Some are on. Well, guys love to take their shirts off. Yeah, I mean, no. if there was a shirtless pic, I wouldn't hate it. I always but try to not put selfies up. I rather definitely no selfies taken. if you oh, can. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. I was a big action photo guy. Every I was just gonna pandemic. say I love like an action like if you're laughing with your friends or something or yeah. your family or your dog, put up something like that that actually shows you doing something. All these photos that I have are pictures of myself, but. Of just me by myself. See, like, I would feel weird putting up yeah. six pictures of, like, you need just some me. With friends. But then I know that you guys know. are like, oh, don't put up pictures with other people because... They don't know, know who's who. Are. Or exactly. if your friend's better looking, they yes. use you to exactly. get to the next one. I'll, I'll, I'll But I would feel like right, a weirdo down. putting right. up, like, six <laughs> pictures of just myself. Like, <laughs> All right. I don't know. I can't wait to see. Wait, now, I don't we... know... I don't know how to. But I also have no idea what girls okay, look okay. for in a guy as far as looks. Okay, yeah. so like because small homes? give me yeah, I've seen I s- I love the first picture because okay. I think it's funny. Now I was in a tiny home and I was reading a tiny book called Tiny Homes. Amazing. See, you like, should right, have a picture funny. of you doing stand. I love that. I see. I wouldn't put his picture of me doing. Would stand-up you think on. a picture of him on the stage would be good? Yep. Yeah. That no. shows you're a comedian. Sense yeah, of but humor. then it's like, look what I do, you know? You're it's not going to put though. yourself as an... No, uh, I would put up a picture of me riding a horse or bartending. Yeah, I would. That's You're yeah, into horseback riding? Yeah, yeah, I have a horse. She's a horse yeah. girl. How do I get on this horse? I'll I've take you. never rode a horse. I'll take you. I'm oh, your guy. We're in. We're that, doing it. We can't see. I need to get on a horse. All right, yeah. I have a comment. All right, comment. The second black and white photo, why... Why is it in black and white? No, but why put this? You look like serious and kind of miserable. You're right. Okay. And um, maybe a little scary. Is that the which sh- some yeah. chicks are probably into? But you probably don't want those. It chicks. was. It was just a. It was. It was. A, I don't um, think it's a bad picture. It was. It was just. I a, didn't say it's a bad picture. I'm saying it's portraying. It looks like he might be a little. Would like, that be aggressive. a picture that you swipe right on? Let's be honest. You could be honest. You be, g- yeah. Give your this opinion. Is, I'm probably, giving. We want right brutal on okay. honesty. Like we want brutal honesty. I don't know. I know B, and I I see this picture, and I think that do, that's not the. That doesn't of tell you B. which one. The second one. Yeah, yeah that doesn't show I, you. You, you who might be showing right. off his beard in that picture. I think, I think the first picture is hysterical, and you look great. I think the third one, where you're like smiling and okay. is adorable. So is the one in front of with you in front of the brick wall. I would definitely put up one of you doing stand up. That's fucking cool. Yeah, that's right. cool. All right. That's cool. That's it. Dude, it's attractive. It's definitely an angle you should work. Yeah, yes. if you were in a no band doubt. and you were a front man, you'd want girls yeah. to know I have a great voice. I like this Maybe. dancing picture. You yeah. look like you're having fun. Dance, and fun. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Do girls like pictures cool. of guys like with kids? Yeah, why not? Eh. Exactly. That's kind of what, what I... Do you, wait, why do you care? How, like, I'm just curious. I, I used to think, oh, it's, it shows whatever, but they don't want to see wait, you with your, see your, the... aunt, your nephew or whatever. Why? I would tell... Why? Why? I think in a dating pick. What? I think he... that's cute. I'm I'm an aunt. Okay. okay. And um. So am I'm, I. I'm an uncle too. My I'm my boy so is my dude. So close with with my niece and nephews, and I, I would I well, would my, appreciate my, that. My nephews are like my kids. I feel like. Yeah. But I usually won't put them in a dating. Maybe. Eh, you know, I mean, maybe is... some people think it's weird to put kids on it, but I I would think that's a good aspect. Like, mm-hmm. oh, this guy's good. Like, you don't family think it's guy. confusing that it? Oh, maybe he. Well, has you a could kid. you could put a. You can put a disclaimer, says, like, this is my niece. Oh, and yeah, nephews, true. Yeah. Like, whatever. Yeah. It looks like you're a family guy. You like kids and yeah. doesn't make you uncomfortable and whatever. I think that's okay. All right. All right. I have a problem with one of your answers. Okay, Which go. Which one? Okay, oh, so wait, you wrote. Really so so my, we didn't yeah. get there. No, She's no. Jordan, you're jumping ahead. Jen's no, all the way at the bottom She's of his page. I'm literally going through his phone. Read my answer. She's reading all your text messages. That's okay. She's looking at panic. Deleted photos? So the first one is I'm looking for... Someone to hang out with, see where it goes. That's a <laughs> What's wrong with that? I wouldn't like that. It's too generic. What do you yeah, mean yeah. you wouldn't don't like even, that? It sounds like There's no personality. AKA, don't, even put that, don't even use that question. AKA, it looks like I'm looking at someone to fuck for a little bit. Oh, it. see, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for. Yeah. But not even goes along with it. That would piss me off. Okay. No. All right. Delete that. She's right. saying don't Second. even answer the question, Genesis. That's fine. Yeah, skip the question. I won't even, you I, could skip okay. questions. That's yeah, you good. You can pick what question you want. Know that? Yeah, I didn't know that either. I didn't All right, either. you did. So yeah, I'm just like, oh, yes. Jenna, Thank what God are you on? Jenna, Jenna what are you on? Nothing. <laughs> Liar. All right. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. I don't go on. Have an app. All right. So oh, new boyfriend. Oh, we didn't know. Oh, new boyfriend. Oh, all right. So what were you on? How did you meet him, real quick? Oh, he's. 
Um, Did you meet him on Tinder or was it an app? No, I met him in real life. Good for you. I am happy about that. People still doing it. Yep. People still meeting regularly. That's so crazy. I think I'm going to meet somebody IRL. Honestly. I mean, I'm an IRL guy. Can you not say IRL? I'm an in real life guy. I started that. That doesn't sorry. seem like you are an yeah, IRL guy when I, you say that. Just Chris said it. <laughs> it's my fault. I apologize. All right, go on. <laughs> okay, so your second question I have a huge problem with. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Because it's not. Okay, a uh, random fact I love is. Wait, what's it? A, a random, random fact. fact I, I thought you said it. fat guy. Oh, I, saw, I thought right? you said fat guy too. I was like, oh. Enunciate. Shots woman. fired. Myself. Okay, a random fact I love is. Shea butter, Yankee candles, and weighted blankets. True. You those said what do you mean? Those written? are not facts. Those are not facts. Those and are facts. Those are things. Does you see candles? like no. someone who's going you, to sleep cuddling like, up with his mother? No. Hold that on is a minute. random fact. That does fact not make sense. No. No, no it doesn't make sense. A, a random, random fact, fact I love, love is like dolphins are the only other mammals that have sex for pleasure. Like, yeah, that, that's a that's fact. That's a fact. Oh. Can we have Crystal and Jenna just make your profile? But this is a fact about me. No, no. It's not. It's not. not It doesn't say about you is. A random fact I love is. See, I read the question. Well, you're wrong. 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 Yes. Wrong. Yes. (laughs) That's so great. (laughs) All right. All right. You might... I read it. Like, as it would be like the human did. head weighs eight pounds. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, a little Jeremy exactly. Wire. Yes. Some chick's gonna read that. Yeah, and I laugh. Oh my god, and that kid's he so likes cute. He likes movies. <laughs> me yes. too. Yeah, exactly. I don't love that fact. The human head is eight pounds. It's from Jerry exactly. Maguire. I know what it's a movie. from. I know what it's from. Okay. But like, that's not a fact that I'm like. I'm like, this is something I love. Oh, I need. but shea butter, shea butter, shea butter warm is a fact. Fucking that is a fact. Blankets. What are you doing I, with shea butter? I love <laughs> shea butter. I want to know. Are you getting out of the shower and dousing yourself in shea butter in the summertime? No, that's gross. Up? No girl summertime. wants to know that. Sliding anyway, into you bed. Smell it. It smells delicious. It's like a. It's 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 Bath and Body Works shea butter. I'm a big fan of the of the uh, lotion. You know what? You can put that in um like you know things I like. Right. Yeah, shea butter. It's yeah. not a fact. It's right. not a. It's I, agree with I love Yankee this. candles. Also great, but not a fact. Me too. Oh, and on. you know, I'm very curious about a weighted blanket. You have one. Weighted blankets are great. Should yeah. I get it? Yeah. It a weighted blanket. Before, real- why do you want it? Am I allowed to ask yeah, that? Yeah, oh, I don't. I don't really I like sleep. To, no, I don't know if she has like a personal issue. She doesn't want to talk about. <laughs> I it. don't I'm, sleep that well, and supposedly okay, they I'm help okay, you yeah, like sleep asking. through the they night. Help you sleep? Fantastic. Yes. Yeah, that's the really? point. Do you so, ever take anything to go to sleep? I thought it was no, for like anxiety. I'm not into that. Have you ever tried melatonin? Yes. My and sister-in-law vouches for it, and no, she doesn't like taking things it either. It will make me vouches fall asleep immediately, it. but I still wake up in the middle of the, the night, okay, so it doesn't fair enough. All right, I got really do what I do want smoke it to pot? do. No. Do you hate pot? No, I smoked when I was like a kid, and I stopped when I was trying to become a cop when I was like 21, and then I tried to go back to it. I and cannot picture you as a cop. No offense. You just don't strike me as a me enforcer. I have a huge attitude. No, no, yeah. that has nothing to do I with attitude. You don't strike me as someone Right from the first time I met her, like, I was like, this one could be a cop. Oh my enforcer. God, I'm such a nerdy rule follower. It's not even funny. Are you? Yeah. You don't strike me as that way. But anyway- um, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> I- I tried to go back to it, and it just gave me anxiety instead of making me laugh. So that was that fun. A lot of people I've yeah, heard that, that about too when they stop. Yeah, and they go back and it, they was like so it was so upsetting. It was so upsetting. So fair enough. Anyway, all right, the weighted blanket. <laughs> now it's now it's locked. Now why don't you tell everyone your password? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, tell us your password. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't? No thanks. I'll, I'll, okay, it, no one, thanks. Two, three, four? He, doesn't, he doesn't trust us. He can't change it when we leave or anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's his ex girlfriend's birthday. Now I don't even want to look at it. It's this. the day his elbow got grazed. It's <laughs> <laughs> the date from that night. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Well played. Um, back to the back to the way to blanket. Highly recommend it. It's like <laughs> highly recommend it. It's it's there's it's perfect. Like it's Ooh. yeah. It's it's like you'll 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 notice it right away. The only I'll thing recommend a twenty pound. I'm worried about is like I feel like I I guess that's you the won't. point of it. I move a lot in this in my sleep, and I feel like if I'm under like a heavy blanket, I'm gonna feel restricted. You're not gonna feel restricted. You're not gonna feel hot. Also, they're ugly. Yeah, okay. That bothers me. They, you're right. They're they haven't perfected the beauty nice of it. Can someone make nice ones? We but could, it's we you're start right. That business. Let's fucking do okay. it. Okay. Attractive. Maybe you should do it. Blanket. We, yeah. we have weighted blankets that will match the. Uh, Interior decorating, uh, of you your. You do that. It's great. It's it's 
Sometimes it's a little heavy, but it's well worth it. Give it a shot. Are you like sweating though? It's not. It's it's it's. That's it's, my issue. I don't like to be hot. It's when not I'm hot at all. If okay. You, if you do, you have the like real one, or do you have like a bootleg one? A I have quote, the real one. I believe it. it's it's got little beads in it. Little glass Wait, beads. Yeah, but it, look at the how much did you pay for it? Was it like two fifty or was it like? It was 50? expensive. Santa got it for me. Thanks, Santa. mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, and they got the good one, of course. Uh, you gotta yeah, have all right, then he probably has the legit one. No, it was, a, it was a good. Got one. the real deal. But it, it was, it was, it's great. And if you wore that blanket on a cold night by itself, you would freeze. It's not warm. There's really? No, yeah, it's not warm at all. Oh my god, I'm shocked. Yeah, a lot of. You have to tell me which brand it is because I, I was gonna buy the weighted blanket. I guess that's the brand. Maybe it's something else. And then I found this other one that's semi-attractive, but it's like red and white plaid, so I feel like I could oh. only use it in the winter, but that was cheaper, so I'm like between but the two. But if it's just you, you know, you throw it on. And, and you know, I like aesthetics, so. Okay, I get it, I get it. It would but bother me in the middle of yeah, summer. I yeah, all right. So I don't like, agree, but I get it. I'm like, so I spend <laughs> the extra money, but I don't want to spend that much if it's going to fucking suck and be hot well, or whatever. Use it for of course. Half a year. Anyway, back yes. to your fucking. Anything else you want to criticize me about my hinge profile? Yes, please. No, we're not go done yet. All go on. Yeah, we're not done. Okay. I want to know all his answers. Oh well, there's only one I, more. Honestly, I didn't give a lot of good answers because I, I, I mean, I half honestly, asked none it. Of them. <laughs> yeah. She, she basically hero. said, "There's no way you're going to meet anybody on this app right now." <laughs> Thank God you paused it. Part of me doesn't want um, somebody on this app. In the, real life. The hallmark of a good relationship is listen. Just, Just listen. listen. That's a good... If you're going to put okay. one thing, I mean... it's, it's Okay, true. yeah, I'm not mad Too about many, that. I have a problem with uh, friends in general that don't listen. I feel like nobody listens anymore. I, I, this guy doesn't listen to anything. I listen to everything. Well, you listen, you don't I hear. I haven't listened to communication, anything. Communication, I, I, would, I would put communication more than listening. Communication well, that's is part listening. of communication. That's my you, point. It just covers all bases with communication. Yeah, but that's more of a broad thing. Oh, if you, listening. It's the only word you put on there. You weren't real specific. I feel I, I, I think I'm I okay think that's with good. that answer. I think I honestly I think listening to some to is is a uh, is a good part of a rela- it's a major part of a relationship. You have to listen to what the other person is saying. Uh they need to listen to you. I I think that's good. And what you? Um, I like it. What else do we have? That's it. That was that was all the questions. It's, it's I hard. really well, let's go I, through the questions. There's only three questions. No, nope. that's it. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't answer all the questions because I sort of. I I just sort of. You know. Well, well most of your questions are wrong, questions. so we're gonna fix that. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. There's other questions you could choose from, but like those are the three he picked. Mm. All right. There's a bunch. I you know I I don't know I it's will just say like it would be cool to see you doing something in some of those pictures <laughs> maybe play your like banjo. do what I'll play the, like banjo. Play the banjo we could take a picture or of you, you right on now stage or I think right you on stage is a perfect what one. if we take a picture of you right now yeah are you doing a radio here. yeah like doing yeah something look that I, you do love. I, I do things I I do things I'm creative yeah but wouldn't that be good for a third date. Third date, I'm like, by Pete, the way, no, they're not going to get to a third no. date if they think your profile it, sucks. They can't tell Say anything <laughs> about you, you know? Like, you want to look interesting. Yeah. Oh, this guy does radio? I, yeah. I'm curious. You know how many oh, girls this guy does stand-up? probably talk how to somebody? How funny yeah, is he? None of these girls date anybody who does stand-up. Most likely. <laughs> Nowadays, who knows? <laughs> stand-up on every corner. But I feel like I... I think I could talk well on a on a first date, but you have to get it. So you need your profile so, yeah. to stick out. You gotta put your fir- exactly. your best foot forward. Okay, but I don't. I I just don't want to show that part. I don't know. It's just it's like, I don't. Maybe you're right. But maybe that's part of that. who you are. It is. So you should show it. It is. So how are you gonna right? find somebody if you don't want to show anything to anybody? Part of me just wants just hoping somebody just sees through the the heart the thick shell. Yeah, that maybe you put they on. see that and like, well, I think that, I don't know. <laughs> um. I would rather meet somebody in real life, IRL. Oh well, yes, that's that's, well, that's a that's what I would rather do. But it's anybody I meet these days is it, it's I don't know. It's not for me. You know what the problem Listen, with meeting babe. people in hard life and in, in hard life in real life is, it is in hard, hard it life. Is. Yeah. No, that's it's, a real statement. Yeah, you could yeah. say that. But is it's creepy and almost inappropriate to an extent these days to just I disagree. I a lot of girls don't. And that you know, young well, bitches, but I'm just saying, like it's it's weird. It's like do I don't want to come off to be thirsty or whatever, and it's like I don't know. It's very hard to approach. See, I meet people a lot, and, and maybe it's because of the uh, comedy it's shows. And your and I I can get into organic conversations, and I do get. 
Even PSA, if- PSA, I'm your bartender. I watch all of this happen, just so everyone knows. <laughs> and I what do, do right? Think? Well, let me, may I? Yes, yes you please. May. He speaks to whoever comes up to him, and whoever comes up to him, he's not fucking interested in, so he becomes friends with. So, in the world of dating, men should be the hunters. When you fucking see something you like, go get it. Send mm. a drink. Go say hi. Do something. Big deal if you get shot down. If you don't fucking try, you're never getting it. Otherwise, you're just going to be sitting at the corner of a bar for the rest of your life, fucking hanging out with whoever's sitting next to you. People you don't want to talk to. Exactly. And no, you know no, what they, I also they found? talk to me. He's so confused. No, I'm not. They, they talk to they me. They talk to yeah. They come no, that's to you. what they I'm talk saying. To you. I'm not yeah. talking to them. Yeah, you talk to whoever just sits next to you. Yeah, she just like, said you yeah. talk to whoever. I'm friendly with them, but that's not getting you anywhere. I'm not trying to uh, listen. I'm maybe saying if you if you were at Croxley's <laughs> yeah. and you saw a girl and you were like Jesus Christ, yes. she's beautiful, or this girl next to me is hilarious, would you put yourself on the line and hit on her? No. It depends. Nope. Does she talk to me first? No. <laughs> no. I'm a female. I don't want to wanna fucking approach somebody. No. Yeah, but I. Ma- sack the fuck up. <laughs> sack. And come <laughs> over. Okay. I yeah, I do get a little uh, intimidated. But I, I get I'll, a little I'll take your side a little bit with this, too. And it's I get not it. as easy to approach. I'm, I get it. Yeah. But, like, make easy conversation. I, my, the last five people I've dated ever have always hit on me for a long period of time before I actually go out with them because persistence means something to me. Oh, I agree If somebody's yeah. hitting on me one time, I'm like, ha-ha, okay, bye. If you keep being like, all right, no, really? All right, no, really? At, at some point, I'm going to be like, There's okay, I'll give right you. There's some guy right now taking notes I'm on like, how to get okay. Crystal at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get I'm ready. like, this guy's really serious. I'll give him a shot. You know what I mean? Like, so. And what is a shot? What do you, what do you what, like, you, you go out on a date with them? Yeah. Just seems like a lot. Well, okay. what's the next step? Okay, so be forever alone, man. What do you uh, want? You're right. I know. You're. I know. What, I know. You're right. But I just or have... settle. You could always settle and just oh, date someone God, you don't want to date. No, well, this I is see. this is why I'm. I think majority of people settle. Even people who think they're not settling are settling. In my opinion, because they get tired of the dating game. You think they get tired mm-hmm. of the dating game. They're insecure about being by themselves. They just dude being like, alone s- sucks. I mean, this I get that some people love it, but I'm fucking no, I, bored. I am someone who enjoys being by I myself, be alone. but I'm I enjoy I being by my by myself, and I I'm not I'm I'm content with being on my own. Would it be nice to have a partner in crime? Yes, but I don't necessarily feel like I want someone to marry. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's good though. Yeah. But I think for guys. <laughs> me personally, I feel like I'm not someone who like, oh my god, look at this eye candy, like. Right. No girl's gonna look at me and boom, shoot. But now, if I get to know them, <laughs> that's how I might win them over, right? I'm, I'm, no, no, you do. You gotta know your strong parts, bro. I'm not it's fucking. Not that personality makes everything. Yeah, I exactly. could see somebody really who's beautiful, like a great looking guy, and the second they open their mouth, I'm like, ew, get yeah. exactly. out of my face. Uh-huh. But that's why or I don't. Or vice versa. I have to get to know people before I'm attracted. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do too. Know. I do too. Me too. I do too. I have to like have a like. I have to vibe with somebody. I'm totally. not. I'm not just a like. Wow, that's a beautiful girl kind of guy. So that's why it's hard to f- see somebody in a in like a bar setting like that and be like, that girl's really hot, uh, and walk up to them. I have a pro- like. I can't do that. I have to you have can a- do it. Men have been doing it for thousands of years. Oh, but those are men. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are, oh, he's a. A baby. But my, my uh, issue uh, is, I like to make fun of a lot of guys who I feel like are thirsty and just drooling over girls going after them constantly. I just like, what is wrong with you? You look like a retard. Like when you see how yeah. obvious it is. In the grand scheme of the thing. But they're the only way. They're, they're getting the ones, laid they're a getting lot laid. more yeah, than exactly. everybody else. Yeah, exactly. You throw out the it's net, a numbers you game. catch a couple exactly. of fish. I don't even it's know how true. to throw out a net. Just yes, you <laughs> do. <laughs> do. I don't I'm <laughs> no, I don't even know. My net gets tangled <laughs> when I throw it. You want to know the best pickup line I've ever heard in my life? Yes, give it to me. I was working and some guy... Is standing next to me, I'm making drinks and it's fucking really busy. And he's like, "You have the sexiest elbows I've ever seen." I've used elbows, them. and Again, it's I, a theme. I literally was like, "Ew, okay." Like walked away. Twenty minutes later, I was like, 
<laughs> Look at Wait, elbows. do I really have nice elbows? Like, was this? Is you this guy fucking a, serious? It's something that it lasted. And I went back over to him, and I'm like, "Elbows, really?" Like 20 minutes later, and he's like, "You're back over here talking to me, aren't you?" And I was like, "Wow, dude, you're fucking good." I'll tell you what that's from. That was a. Am- it's from that's something. From something. Yeah. I'm so upset. Yeah, oh, wow. I read that in Maxim magazine. No. This is what they would say. No. I swear I'm to God. So upset. Because you know what I used to say? You have great shoulder blades. I would do something like no, that. that's a... I was oh, like... shoulder blades, yeah. Okay. No. Something okay. random. I was like, yeah. So the thing was, is like you pick... Get you thinking. Yeah. Like, like pick a random part of a girl that nobody's ever talked about. Wow. And... I, maybe I didn't do show. I was like, wow. I, I used to mess with yeah, like one girl. Would be good. I was like, you have a f- you have a fantastic shoulder. I'm so upset. Like I thought shoulder. this guy was a genius. Maybe no, he did. Just nah, he read out. it in no, Max. He no read doubt. it. You just ruined it. Somebody yeah. told him like, say, you know, say something random. It was basically, and I I I because I used to do this to a girl, and she uh, I used to do this dude, to a girl. It works. Now. I'm telling you, like 20 minutes maybe later, I went over to him and I was like, help. My elbows are nice. Like, are you being serious? And he's yep. like, you're talking to me, aren't you? And I was See? like, wow. He was like, he was like, it worked. It did work. He was work. shocked that it worked. I <laughs> was shocked. At first, I was like, ew, I'm fucking working. Like, my elbows, yeah. what are you talking about? And well, then, that's the other thing. It's like, you're working. When do you, no. when do you, when's the right time to hit on it's somebody? It's not. It, you can, you can, you can hit on people. Who doesn't like to be hit on? It's nice. Not everybody has that. It's like Opinion, a compliment. Like. like, why would you? I've, I'm never mean to anyone who hits on me. Like, but I do think you, it's do very you not, nice. Do you don't think that that's not your not normal <laughs> in that regard? Like, you're I not think the norm. Normal, isn't that like a? It's a compliment. It's a compliment why would you be nasty but I don't know. to somebody who's being? Unless they're being fucking creepy yeah. about it. Like, <laughs> yo, yeah. let me fucking bend you over. Later. Like, ew, get the fuck. Have out you gotten of here. creepy stuff? <laughs> you two ladies I've been bartending for like, I don't even want to say out loud. Fourteen years, which is disgusting, but. Hey, yeah, it works. Yeah. Don't broke what's not. Wait, wait. you've had creepy. Don't fix broke. what's not broken. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So if you're creepy, then yeah. But if somebody's if somebody's being nice, I'm never mean. I'm always. It's nice. It's nice to hear. Why not? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've seen you behind the bar. I can't imagine you being nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's because people are fucking annoying yes. usually. But if if you're being, sweet, I don't know how you're still in. Retail, I guess you can consider it. I mean, it's not retail. No, but I just <laughs> consider it. Retail? What are you? What you're dealing with the public service. selling them a, a service? No, I know it's in the service, but I'm just saying, like, I I hated it when I did. It. I worked at you a were paint store. No, I'm just talking about dealing with the public. Oh, um, yeah, I don't fucking know. hated it. Honestly, I love what I do. I would do it forever if I could. I know there's like a timeline on it, but um, why is there a timeline? Is there a timeline? Yeah, do you there see is. some of the creatures out there bartending there late yeah, in life. Yeah, I don't. I you know it might be, but I really don't aspire to be the 40 year old day bartender kind All of right. thing. But hey. maybe it'll happen. I don't know. But you know. As long as you have customers like B, who knows? That's right. Sky's the know. limit. No, but That's it's right. cool, man. Like, I go into work, I, like, hang out with everybody, and, like, I like the, um, it's, like, upbeat, and you're fucking moving, and whatever. Like, I could never, no offense, Jen, uh, but I, I couldn't sit behind a fucking computer and oh, it's sit fucking there terrible. all day. Like, I gotta do stuff. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out because I've been I doing the office thing and I, I fucking hate it. What do you want? Do you want to stay where you're at or do you want to? No, I fucking hate it. What would you like to do? Dream scenario. Dream job would be this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You guys are very good at podcasting. Um, very sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. My no, I think she was serious. <laughs> 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 if I could sit on this couch and drink Modelo's and just talk, that oh would be great. God, be amazing. Uh dream job would be to i want to read books what <laughs> that would get turned you into could movies. do that there's a job where you could read books to see if they get turned into movies oh okay that would be my dream job any book i re- i would read i'd be like this would be a great right? movie like i no. yes not all of them could be movies i, I thank TV you shows. That. i i don't agree with that at all most books i read well i've only when I read books, if I don't like it within the first few chapters, I stop reading it. So Angel, de- Angels yeah. and Demons and Da Vinci Code, significantly better books than movies. I the, just the read The Da Vinci Code recently. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, always. I didn't watch the movie, though. I forgot What's one? to. Da Vinci Code. I forgot. Listen, yeah, it was, I was like, I gotta watch the it. movie was entertaining, but the book was significant. It always is better. So yeah. Every books chapter are always was better. like, yeah. whoa, oh, what's so going to happen now? I was a big Dan Brown fan. I read almost all of his books. 
digital. Wait, let's go around the room. What's your dream job? What's oh, yeah. my dream job? Would would honestly be radio of some sort. Okay, that's Ooh. awesome. And we'll it's a newfound hey, love that I just realized. Okay, as as doing this show. And wait, wait, this particular show with <laughs> yes. us? Yes, because you're having so oh, much yes. fun. This, this <laughs> show, episode ninety nine. Ex- episode ninety nine to be specific <laughs> is that. That's it. That's what, what about I'm you, B? Um, to, to be able to quit my job and just do stand up full time. That would be my dream job. That would be fucking That'd awesome. Be Halfway there. I'm not that funny, but like that would be cool. You're very I'm funny. I'm not funny either, laugh. according to Crystal. I know. We had a conversation the other night. She was saying that she could be a stand up comedian. Yeah. No, I said I couldn't. I wish I could, but I couldn't because I get really nervous in front of like crowds. I feel like that would go yeah. away in time. But it does go away. The hardest thing that yeah. I've known, because he's been trying to get me to do it, is turning things that are, you're like, people are always like, oh, you're funny. You should do it. And then actually trying to write and be funny okay. is significantly yeah. harder right. than just being funny in a situ- yeah. social situation. I was a little mean. I'm she like, Jenna, like, like, I let, when we're together, all we do is laugh. Like, at the mm. dumbest shit ever. I'm like, I think you're hilarious. But to go up on stage and make a large audience of people laugh, like, <laughs> I don't think that's your fucking she was thing. Like, no, but this is how, this is what she said. Oh, God. So I was like, I get nervous. So she was like, well, I don't get nervous. So like I would be able to go on stage. So I was like, all right, so I'll write the jokes and you perform them. And she's like, you're funny. And I was like, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? I was like, I will ask anybody. I will text anyone and say, am I funny? And they will all say, yeah, you're fucking hilarious. Yeah. And she you're was like, fucking hilarious. Hey, there you go. You got the confidence. Start right. I was like, do it. And I did. And everyone said I'm fucking hilarious. So why so. don't you start writing? Do it. Have you ever taken like a creative writing class? Mm, no. For an improv. She went to school for film. Yeah, I was going to school for film, but I. I finished. screwed up my whole life in yeah, that regard. Yeah, we all did. <laughs> Didn't we all? Because did anyone not screw the, up yeah, their life? Every th- well, you know what I was? I was talking to them. I like uh, my life. One of our shows. No, but good for you. You don't yeah. think you don't wish you started comedy? 10 You're years winning earlier? in life. Yeah. yeah, I do wish I started comedy. That's all early. I'm saying. When you were younger in high school, it was like go to college. And what like I feel like there's a lot of things they didn't tell people to prepare for like what you want to do, but I don't even remember where I was going. But what I want to do now is nothing at all what I ever would have thought I wanted to do. So that's why I just I feel like I wasted about 15 years. In that. Yeah, just nah, it's not it wasted. It's, nothing's wasted. Um, well, you should definitely try stand up. I think anybody that think you, you should. I run an open mic, and you should go there start and writing. try it out. Just start writing. Oh my god! And so then you, can you don't to have me? to do stand yes. up, and then you when figure it, it out. Work out. Me. Yes. Okay. Wait, yeah. what? I missed it. Nothing. No. Every Tuesday, open mic. Every Tuesday, there's, there. there's an open mic at Alibi in Farmingdale. And I will go, and I will laugh, even if you're not funny. No, and I, I don't good. plan on you not being. You don't want to give them false laughs. No, then they don't get better. No, no, no. You do get better. The first time, it's it's good that way. Even uh, really with yeah, fake laughs. Yeah, because then you, it just gets your confidence. And, Even and if you don't, you need that confidence. Yeah, yeah totally. but don't you need Can't to know you what you're writing is funny? Laugh? You can tell when it's a fake laugh, but it, it's also the first hundred times you get on stage is not going to be. Good. You've been on stage more than a hundred times. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Holy Look shit! He goes every week. There's six. I'm I'm up. Three to four times a week, if I could. Wow. Whoa. I want to. I want to get into a little because I know we're we're about a little over an hour now, so yeah. we'll probably wrap up in a little bit. But mm-hmm. I did want to talk about your radio. Did we get into the radio? Not we really. Mentioned right? it in the we beginning. mentioned that they yeah. were on that a radio were station. Radio yeah, you. We're you're, really not. <laughs> no, no. We were on one time. We're on the radio for. But I want to get into it because what you guys did on there yeah. is what I do on this show. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. To an extent. Sound so inexperienced? Can give us notes. No, I am a huge movie and film. Oh, I'm huge movie. All I do is watch. We used to have movie Mondays at my house every Monday. Next yeah. time you guys do it, I'm in. Yes. You know. Okay. Yes, please come. Myself, yeah. I'm yeah. In. I love that. I don't want to explain the radio myself. show. <laughs> um, so what our did fr- you guys do and whose was it? And our, our friend uh, Biddleman that I've met on the bus in fourth grade and been friends with ever since has a show on LA radio. And, um, for a long time, he's been telling us to come in and do like TV shows, like what to watch, whatever. So when the Oscars were coming up, he was like, Oh, why don't you guys come on? And I know you guys love movies. We'll talk about like your Oscar picks. Mm -hmm. So we did. And, um, (laughs) killed it. I killed (laughs) every one of my picks. You got everyone right. Is that what you're saying? I did. No big deal. Wow. Which, I, I don't believe you. Wrong. Yo, I don't, check me. Oh, I can you right still listen now. to the show? Yeah. Tell our fans and listeners where they could hear it if they do want to listen to you guys. Uh, yeah, I should know this, but I don't. Uh, I would assume you go to LongIslandRadio.com and you could probably look up the or the. What's the station? 
I think it's 103.9. Yes. Or you could go on Facebook and type in The Bittleman Show. Okay. B-I-D-D? B-I-T-T-L-E-M-A-N. Okay. That's good. That's a good question. Because I was thinking B-D. B-I-D-D. Remember you were supposed to watch it and you probably didn't and then just acted like you did? Uh, no, I, I watched it. If you watch this, you're such a liar. Watch. That's why I booked so you. So say that I'm right. So say that I'm right. right. Yo, no, she got everything. Did you <laughs> even parasite? Pick what shows and movies you wanted to win, or you thought were gonna win? Uh, so we in some of them, we, we were like, we think this is gonna win, and some of them was what I wanted to win. Yeah. Because Scarlett Johansson deserved both. No, I disagree. Uh, well, you wow. thought she was I great did. in Marriage Story. I did, but she who did I pick for Best Supporting Actress? Lauren Dern. Lauren that's Dern. And I said the same thing. That's damn right. I said the same won. thing. I Lauren Dern in what? In Magic in Marriage, Marriage Story. Story was phenomenal. Laura yeah. Dern was the best part of that and fucking I, movie. And I predicted don't that she would win that because I thought she was the best I actually hands down. said, I don't think she's going to win, but I want her Laura to Laura Dern was... I win. wanted Scarlett, and I thought Laura Dern was going to win. I... Laura Dern was Laura fantastic Dern was, in Marriage Story. I thought Story. Laura and wanted. Wait, I thought Scarlett and wanted. My Laura. only problem is I didn't see Judy. I thought Laura. So I couldn't. Oh, I didn't Judy. either. And I pissed the, that I didn't see it. The movie I want actually to. is not good. I know, but <gasps> I, I am a, no, I'm an Oscar it was person. Good. Don't ruin was her performance good? Her performance was really good, but the movie was. Like, that's what it. Okay, that's what. Did I, you I, see I, Jojo I, Rabbit? Oh, so good. And I think that's part of the reason why I might have been a little biased towards Scarlett Johansson because I thought Jojo Rabbit was such a. Amazing. Well done I didn't movie. see Jojo Oh, Rabbit. you gotta watch it. it it's is. funny. Right. It's heartwarming. It's, I love it's dark comedy, but it's great. I mean, it's hysterical. Okay. I, I'm, hysterical. I'm into that. Sarah Rockwell is great in it. Yeah. Hysterical. I, I don't know. I thought... Taika, what? I can't pronounce his name. And then who was it? I so uh, who was the... Uh, Parasite won Best Picture. Parasite was How awesome. How good was that movie? I thought that was great. And I you did. knew that was gonna win? I called it. I did. I said it. said it. I said it. I said, listen. I... I said 1917 I, oh yeah, was 19, phenomenal. 1917. 1917 deserved what it got and nothing more. But then day of Oscars, I changed it. I was texting my dad. He's like, what are your picks? I said, I thought it was um, Sam Mendes for director and then Parasite for best picture. So I got one Yo, more. Parasite, if anyone hasn't seen it. I tell everybody. I didn't want to watch it. Because it's Korean, I too. It's like, not like a typical yeah. movie you'd watch in subtitles. I have to fucking read subtitles. Right. This is going to suck. After two minutes, I was fucking like, hooked. That there's, director's phenomenal, there's too. There's so much shit that yeah. you don't see coming. Yeah. It was so good. It was right. so good. I haven't seen that either. And, I, and, I and, and well, you were there. On it. Yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on that. That's another thing where... Honestly, a lot of times I'll watch a movie, I'll start practicing my banjo, and I get a little distracted. Are you fucking... Listen, I'm if you serious. put on Parasite, if you just give it 10 you minutes, be you're banjo. not going to... You're going to pay... It's probably pay the attention. first time in like five years that I don't look at my cell phone while a movie okay. is happening. That's what good, was your that's favorite good. movie this year? This was one of the best years of movies in probably 20 years. We didn't... I didn't think so. I didn't think so either. I actually thought the movies were horrible. Joker, you thought was horrible? Uh, I didn't think I it was Joker. horrible, but I didn't right. think it was like to die over. I thought Joker I thought was Joaquin phenomenal. Phoenix was amazing. I never pronounced it right, and I agree with you. He was. Who was? Who was? Once great? upon a time in Hollywood. Sorry, Joaquin Phoenix. Check. It was what okay. Was, what's his name? Joaquin. What's his it was name? okay. You thought once upon. Oh. Once upon a time in Hollywood. I don't like how they. I get it. You don't like how they. They I don't want to get from to, the but how story. they play from that. You wanted, you wanted to see the real ending. I wanted to see the real shit, yes. I love Quentin Tarantino. He does Me that in too, everything. But, but he did that with World War II with Inglorious Bastards. I know, I know. Um, I think he was great. The cinematography on that was phenomenal. Oh, I love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. All right, what else? I'm trying to think I didn't think, I thought Marriage Story was overhyped. I love that movie. I, I thought, thought it was Marriage really Story was a great story, and I thought Adam Driver and... Scarlett Johansson. I just thought the acting was phenomenal. All right, can I ask a quick? Is Adam Driver handsome or ugly? What's what is he? I'm torn. He's oh, not. I'm torn. I, the he's guy's not ugly as sin. He's talented. Attractive. And that may make him attractive. The body oh, though. He's got exactly the body. So it doesn't matter. He's got looks, a great body. Looks. He's disgusting. He's a talented individual. I don't think. I don't think he's disgusting. Individual. I think it's just maybe his ears. I would just never yeah. look twice at him. He's not yeah. disgusting. I would never look twice. I mean, I like, if I saw him at a bar, my because eye, he's a talented meaning. person. That's the only reason why he's attractive. Yeah, maybe if I yeah. got to know him or something. Yeah. But right. All right. But anyway, that that movie was a very good story. It was heartwarming. I think they portrayed a lot of things that people don't get to see through divorce and all that. Yeah. However, Adam Driver's performance, I don't care what anyone says, and that movie was not fucking amazing. It you was didn't good, think so? but like that fight scene, I was like, uh, snooze fest. 
Really? really? Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Jeez, I thought he was fantastic. You, you did you see did? Marriage Story? Yes. Okay. Listen, I've watched I've watched fights on TV where like I'm fucking crying Chipsy and I'm Blue okay. Valentine. I, yes, oh, I and love I'm that. feeling it. Scene. Like yeah. I yeah, yeah. feel what's happening. That fight, I was like, just go home. Gosling is 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 great, by the way. Is uh, that what with Blue Valentine? Yeah. yeah. You know that thing where he's playing? That's all. Yeah, that was yeah, he played. Uh, that was a great movie. Great movie. What a I love that movie. Good, awful movie. You know what great. I mean? Like, I love so dark, upsetting. depressing movies. Me too. Yeah. That's like, like if I'm gonna, yeah. if you like foreign films and upsetting films, you need to watch uh, the Broken Circle Breakdown. Is that the one you were telling us about? Yeah, that nobody ever watches I because they don't want to watch subtitles. But it's I can't so stand that anymore. Good. Some of the best movies out there have been in subtitles recently. It made me mad. I was like, the acting in America is bullshit. You need to I'm watch it. I'm not going to go that far, but you need subtitles it. should never turn into. Where's away. that one from? I think it's in Dutch, actually. Dutch? Yeah. All right. All right. And the I freaky started, deaky Dutch make good films. Freaky deaky yeah. I, I started watching it on accident because in the trailer, it's American country music. And I started oh, watching. Really? Yeah, and I started watching the movie, and like 10 minutes in, I'm like, are they ever going to go to English? And then it never happened. <laughs> so you got to watch it. It's so good. All right. I'm trying to think what else was up for Best Picture. 1917, we touched on Irishman. Uh, yeah, oh, Irishman, I never finished. Irishman was burn, about 45 minutes it. too long. I liked it. I felt like it showed a different side of the mob scene. Let me tell you my thought. Good movie. I thought. I don't believe it at all. Really? Yeah. I don't. I'm big on documentaries and history things. I, I don't buy the story at all. Okay. But I do think it was a very good movie. I. Do, it was cool that they made them look younger, but when De Niro's beating that guy up, he looked terrible. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. look. They don't look that young. I yeah, mean, they don't. That wasn't it, it just like the there were certain the little things that I was like, yeah, it wasn't yeah. one of Scorsese's best. No, but he it tried. was. He tried. He did try. It was good. Good he try, did his buddy. Best. It was good, and that, and it was forty five minutes too long. They could have taken out. It was too long. These long. movies today. No, I like. I mean, a good Jesus long Christ! Movie. I have things to do. Once upon a time in Hollywood was just as long. I loved it. Yeah, it it's was just, just a te- love is a on strong you. word I'm for a that huge movie. Tarantino, uh, All right, what else? What other biased. movies were there? That was like everything, right? Uh, there was oh, a Ford couple. Ford vs Ferrari. You know what? Uh, I didn't love Ford like, Ferrari. What was it? What movie was that like? Oh, The Lighthouse. No, excellent. I wait. Oh yeah, was that good? That was great. I didn't watch it. I hated it. I love Willem uh, Daff- Dafoe. Dafoe or whatever. Willem Dafoe. Really Big fan of Dafoe. Ha- I left the theater. I was like, "What the fuck did I just watch?" Can I tell you? I, was I like, watched Am I it too once. Too dumb to understand. And what's I was happening? like, "Yeah." It, I was so shot when I was watching it. I was like, "I can't do this right now." And I went back and watched it again. I was so happy I did Why, that. Why? Is it complicated? No, it's all in black and white. It's, it's shot like, on eight millimeters, so it's like b- fucking this big. And they're oh, like, in I, I couldn't watch it. it looks Why super are we trying and to it's about, outsmart dude, our audience? It was awesome. It was not. It was okay. awesome. It was not. I saw it in the movie theater, it and was I was not. like. <laughs> I wish I watched it so I could weigh in on this. Me too. But it sounds like I wouldn't like it. It looks you awful. You not like it. The coming attractions look I don't know what awful. you really... Yeah, I, I thought, can't say you're going to... I was like really excited to see it. I was like, this is going to be really good. And then I was like, I fucking... Uncut I Gems go? was the other one. <gasps> I so excellent I movie. plan on watching that tonight. Is, and I've heard mixed out reviews. Yet? It's on Amazon Prime. I was on okay. the edge of my seat the, whole the entire movie. fucking... Th- you're I had so to be so like, bad. I did not want to like get up. I um, just wanted to stay. I heard it I don't think Adam Sandler's the greatest actor. He's not. He's not. But the, the way the movie is made and his character, it's almost to the point where everything he does, you want to stop him or, like, you want to, like, jump through the screen. Like, you are on the edge of your seat okay. wondering what the I, fuck that, is. That's something the I definitely so, want to watch. like, whirlwind of, like, emotions and things going on. Like, it was excellent. Yeah. I thought it was so well done. I, Did I anyone see like Knives like Out? Ten, yeah, I saw I've it. I've been th- having on my... I haven't watched it yet. But What's I've, Knives okay, Out same. about? Um, it's like a murder it's a, mystery, it's yeah. Is that what it is? I, yeah, it is. I didn't know it's that. It's like a whodunit, but, um, yeah. uh, I mean, I saw it, and I don't want to give it away. Please don't. So I can't say <laughs> anything right. further. It, was <laughs> it good? Keep it to yourself, forget it. Was it good, though? Was I, it I enjoyed it, yeah. Okay. Knives it's, out. It's, di- it's, it's not what you expect when you, like, go into the theater. It's different, but it's still, like, really good. And okay. you're still like, uh, you're still like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? Even though I've been wanting to watch knows. it and I haven't did it yet. I watched Motherless Brooklyn the other day. The hell is that? I never uh, even heard of that it. That got a lot of it's hype, new, but it Edward didn't Norton. do well. <sighs> I don't. Edward Norton. I love Edward Norton, and he was phenomenal in it. Great. How's Alec? He's a great actor. What's up? Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. 
Big fan. It was a good movie. I was going to say, Sally. I'm not going to say it was great. I'm not going to say it was bad. It was a good movie. I expected a little more, but it was good. Okay. I'll leave it at that. Snooze fast. (laughs) It wasn't as good as (laughs) I was. It's like the score, almost. Okay. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It it was pretty good. But I do have some picks for everybody. So that's what I was telling you. Every week, I just. Every week, every week, we do chicks picks. Chicks picks coming up. By the way, I got a text from you at three in the morning a few days ago. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be good. Every once in a while, like he doesn't sleep. No, I, I don't guess. go to sleep. So I wake See? up. That's either. why we need the that's gravity blanket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same yeah, you would do great with that. So I wake up at three in the morning. He goes, "How about this? Not so chicks picks." I said, "Chicks, oh. not so chicks picks coming soon." Okay, all right. So you're gonna be, which we've been telling you for. Yes. I don't know, 40 episodes. And I have one movie that I just don't want to talk about it now because I'm not ready to do a whole What do you mean you're not ready? Wait, sidebar, no, I'm though, doing by the three way. Picks. Anyone, did anyone see Ford vs. Ferrari? Yeah. I didn't. It was bad. It's just like Crush. It wasn't bad. Isn't it? it was just yeah, like. It just, it's not good. Ew. It wasn't And great. Crush was better. Crush? I don't remember Is Crush. Is that the name of the show, movie? Wait, Crash? Rush, my bad. Rush. Rush, Crash. Wow, I was so close. She's a real movie connoisseur, everybody. Take her. I'm tired, you guys. Be nice. <laughs> Rush was so Rush, much yes. better. Okay, I Rush. didn't see that. I didn't well, see that. Well, that's a great movie. Both of you need to go home and watch Chris it. Okay. In it right? that's Who? With him. Chris Hemsworth in Rush. Oh. Ooh, Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> Does he take his shirt off? What? Wait, hold on. I don't on. know. I feel like that's in his contract. I need to fact check. Right? Yeah. I was, that's in his Crystal's contract. Like, he has to take his. Not even sure what movie she's talking about. Wait, well, Crystal's no, fact checking. No, I'm going to start am. my pick. Yeah, get let me let me yes, hear your pick. Rush is, is yes, that's him. You're right. It is okay, Chris yeah, Hemsworth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. My first pick this week is a new series mm-hmm. on Amazon. You've probably seen commercials, and it's fucking phenomenal. I crushed it in two days. Hunters. Wait, what is it? Hunters. Oh. You can. I always oh, know. Yeah, I always know what. It's a new one. I said it's yeah. a new one. It, it was. It was absolutely phenomenal. Pacino's Hunters on great Amazon. In it. It, it was a very well done. I have to watch. All right. That. I started The Outsider last night. Ooh, so very good. scary. Very I scary. I only watched. I fell asleep like halfway through because I was really tired, and I kept like waking up. Do you and like the Stephen music, King? Yeah. Okay. And the music was like creeping me out, and. I woke up on a part of the second episode where I'm like, did I really just wake up at this fucking oh show? You should when, like, watch with a friend. Shot on, like, a oh, package. come yeah. on. I, that's when I woke up. But I'm, I'm going to, when I get home. I'm I gonna, just want to like, say something. Outside is them. great. The, so good. It's very good. I, I don't, don't, I don't want to say anything because the yeah, third episode or whatever is like a, I'm not saying nothing. I don't like pretend shit. And I started watching The Outsiders thinking it was a detective show. So did I. Yeah. And I, and I so was like, so it? into it. I was like, in, it's so good. good. And then the third episode, I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Is this like the hardest thing to overcome alien bullshit? What the, the fuck King is aspect. happening? And then I looked it up online. I'm like, I didn't know it was Stephen King. I didn't know. Now I'm mad. And I don't want to watch it. But then I got bored one day, and I was like, all right, I'll watch the next couple episodes. It's and still I'm good. back in it. Now, you have Love said it. it's good. It's still. amazing. Crystal, okay. I've heard you say good stuff about this, The Outsider. Outsiders. So good. And it really scared the bejesus Shh, out of I'll me. I'll tell you what. I, it's terrible to watch by yourself. Yeah. I watch it by myself, and I'm like, ah! You got to watch <laughs> something funny after. That's what you got to do. I got to watch Curb. Yeah. Well, I switched oh, I to- I love Curb. He doesn't like I, Curb lamp anymore. It. <gasps> I no, I, the last episode I really loved. Fucking hysterical. About the Jets. That was great. The t- I was actually going to call you. Ep- I didn't see the new season you guys on. Oh, the new oh, season. Yeah. The first episode right. was one of the better. It was a great episode. I don't know. I love Curb. I didn't like last season. All right. Let me hear your, your the, pick. The second pick. This one's a little more depressing. It's on Netflix. Oh, I uh-huh. love depressing. Oh, I know, I, I know what you're going for. Do you? What? The trials Go. of the yeah. trials of Gabriel <gasps> oh. Gabriel oh, Fernandez. Wait, I know. I got to start, start that. that. I didn't hear I about this thing ever. I just watched the trailer last night. It was... That's I could stomach almost anything. It made me want to murder people. It was one of the hardest things I've ever watched. As really? far as I'm not a murder guy. Don't fuck with cats. No. It was oh, worse oh, I than watched that. that. That killed me too. You know what the difference between cats and this is? That's a cat. This is a which is equally boy. as wrong as yeah. an eight year old boy. I like kids better. I mean, animals. Yeah, I like better. animals better than human beings. Not as more as kids. Okay. And what the is, torture. Yeah, this is probably like the worst. It's probably the worst case of torture this country's ever seen. Are you serious? Really? Yes. Wait, I'm not even. It's not. What e- is this story from, though? It's from uh, 2012, I think. It's <gasps> fairly recent. Stop. Fairly recent. Yeah. All right. The torture this kid went through, and the eventual killing of him was. It was the. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to watch. They or, have like proof of all of this. Yeah. Yo, this is and there's pictures. Documented. I watched 
I was midway through the second episode, and I turned it off. I was like, uh, I'm going to watch the finale of Florabama Shore instead. <laughs> yeah. I, I, can't, I couldn't deal with it. That's it was what, too I've, difficult. I've recommended this to people. If you have kids and this stuff, do not you, watch. Don't watch. Yeah. Don't even watch. Okay. Don't even try and watch it. It was right. it was that bad. Brutal. Yeah. I, I, but it I, was. Really I mean, it's also that good. I mean, it was it was good. All right. Yeah. What else we got? Chick the picks? last one. I'm going to do another little. I'll, t- I'll turn it up to a little more friendlier. Uh, turn it up a notch. Honey boy. Honey wow. boy. Oh, I love what Honey the hell boy. Is that? On Amazon. Honey it's kind of like an in- indie it's, film um, with Shay LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Isn't it's it like LeBeau? Kind of about his life. It's about like a ch- yeah. They I think he based it's, it off of his life. Yeah, it it's was like, when he went to like rehab. Yes. And so he started writing it because this is your lighter pick, a rehab story. <laughs> but it, yes. it's, no, it's it's not it's, things get light here. It's not. He <laughs> was. <laughs> it's not a dark movie. Pick it so up to with speak. this rehab story. It's a child actor it who starts with him in a <laughs> padded room. <laughs> <laughs> and it just gets better uh, from there. Well, anything's lighter than the trials of uh, Gabriel here. Yeah, but this Fucking is great. kid hires his father to be like he's not. He, I mean, to work for him of. like a manager, but it's really yeah. just like a fucking give him a job. And his father's an alcoholic, and it, it's it's good. I don't want to get sounds too far very into bright. It. it sounds great. It's yeah, bright. Well, Maybe pick bright. Me up. Bright Let's... wasn't. The, it wasn't a pick me up. All right, but it was good. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> Next time I know that's on Amazon right now, it. Honey Boy. Honey Boy. I like the name. It's kind of fun. Yeah. It makes me want to. Yeah. Oh my god! I feel like I'm gonna it. start calling people Honey Boy. Hey, what's up, Honey I Boy? I like that. Yeah, Honey Boy. Right. <laughs> I that's call a good people one. Honey Pot a lot. Honey, honey Pot. That's a good name. It's yeah. a good well, Honey Pot. pot. <laughs> yeah, Honey Pot. I should call you Honey Pot. Oh, yeah, you should. It's fitting for me. Definitely. I'm a Honey Pot. All right, Honey Pot. Um, you have any more picks? No. I mean, I have some, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep it at three. You gonna keep it at three? Why? Let's hear one more. Do you one have, more. Do you have one that you don't like? I'm gonna. I want to do that not with so a bunch pick? that I. I have, I'm okay. Working on that. Do you want to throw us one more? I'll throw you one more. I have. We have want, movie connoisseurs on 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 these ones. I'm a huge documentary guy, so I got three of them left. I was gonna do. Let's see. I'll do questioning Darwin. What's what the hell is that? I am a anti-organized religion <laughs> person. I'm. If you girls, either so one of you are religious, Christian? what? You're big time big Christian. Big time. Big time. Really? Wait. I'm. I'm not an atheist. I don't believe in organized religion. Oh, I think you were oh, saying you were. Yeah, a big no, time. no, 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 no. I'm confused I'm for a second. No, no, no. Supporter. I'm absolutely of... not. Okay. Okay. And I, I'm. If you Just girls are, I'm not going to go into it. Why I hate the church. But either way, this thing is about Darwin and his theory of evolution, and it's basically they go back and forth between the church and. The theory of evolution, and I found Ooh. this very interesting. So, which side? Very you interesting. Yeah, where do you land? Science. Obviously, I'm an evolution. If he's I was joking. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was such a good joke. You should be a stand-up comedian. Oh my god, I might be. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Aren't I so funny, guys? You are funny. Aren't I? Yeah. You have great timing. <laughs> that was so nice. Oh, you have good timing, Crystal. You hear that? Yeah. You ever heard of timing, Crystal? <laughs> yeah. No, not me. But yeah, that's my other one. That's it, huh? I mean, I Wait, that's all that you have on? to say. It's on HBO. Oh, I don't I like religion. It's about. I you, like Darwin. I like science. Listen, Darwin was like a real religious person, so like he had trouble with his theory, even believing in himself, because the church hated him. So oh. this documentary shows people from the church who just bash and shit Did on. Did Darwin him. have a first name, or was he like Charles? Don- oh, he was, he was Ch- Charles. Charlie Char- Darwin. Charlie Char- Darwin. Charlie Darwin. Exactly. Yeah. That's news to me. And it's just about how he developed and came up with his thesis or theory. And very cool. I'm gonna yeah. watch that. Definitely. It was very good. I'll watch that. I feel, I feel like, like that's the last of all the the picks that I'm gonna watch. But I'm definitely gonna watch the. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna watch the Adam Sandler one. I don't I'll know. If, was that a pick? Oh yeah, maybe I'll all watch right. that. Is that tonight. A, yep. Uncut, oh, Uncut Gems. Uncut that was Gems. a pick a while ago. Because yeah, I'm, I've been waiting time. for that to oh. come out. I didn't mm-hmm. know it was out yet. So I'll, oh. I'll watch that. I saw Midway. Not mm-hmm. good. What's Midway? I was a movie. I was so pumped about the Battle of Midway was the first big war uh, battle in World War Two in the Pacific Ocean. That was with the planes, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Big air battle. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm a huge World War Two guy. And I was like pumped about this movie. And it was fucking atrocious. Yeah. Okay. I didn't watch that because I felt like it looked awful. And everyone I spoke it to was said like Pearl it Harbor. wasn't good. Yeah. It was like Pearl Harbor. They've right. yet, they've I'm had, glad I missed it then. Yeah, it was so bad. Yeah. I'll skip that. All right. Well, I think we'll all agree to skip that one. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> guys, do we have anything else we want to plug? Do you, you guys have Instagram or something you want to plug? Uh, you want followers? Hey, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll get you some I followers. I love followers. 
well, go for it. Plug my Instagram. Yeah. Shameless. Shameless, you know Shameless your Instagram. girl. How do I know my no. Instagram? I was just How do you, you know your own <laughs> Instagram? <laughs> I said you know it. She's looking like she's. Uh, who do you so believe you know? in, oh, yeah, I was Darwin? Like going to my Instagram for the name. That's what like, I was saying. I I'm it. like, you know it. By the way, you're not right. going to get okay, any okay. followers. Shut I was gonna up. say, even if they do, they're gonna look at both of our Instagrams and be like, "Wow, they're boring." No, you're gonna <laughs> get boys. followers because yeah. you also got the dudes out there okay. who hear a girl's voice. Look, I gotta see what she looks like. So that's oh, the first thing that's that what happens. Is, that is so exciting. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what you guys want. I'm private, so I'm I'd just have telling to you, allow them to follow well, that's me. That's why. Yeah, at least you get to screen it. <laughs> All right, it's a yo, it's Jenna. A yo, it's Jenna. With two Ayo, O's and two A's. I just put up three fingers. <laughs> All right. I like that. All right. Good. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, yo, it's Jenna with two. O- <laughs> two O's, two A's. Two O's and two A's. Yeah. All right. Cool. So movie nights are on Mondays? Monday. Movie Mondays. Right. Movie well, Monday. well, we were doing movie Mondays and right now we're watching Vanderpump oh, Rules. Vanderpump so we're Rules, doing yeah. See You Next Tuesday. A lot of people yes. are into Vanderpump Rules. Is oh, we it good? love it. That's the oh, only the show best. on Bravo I haven't uh, touched yet. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a, a Bravo. So you love Bravo. He loves Bravo. That's guy. incredible. Yeah, let's I, start our Bravo. Yeah, we should part have a Bravo podcast. podcast. That would be fantastic. I, I listen to one. Live it's called Bitch for that. Sesh. Oh, and yeah. they're awful. <laughs> Don't listen. Oops, sorry. Should I not say that? No, you say what they're gonna you hear. Want. They're gonna hear. No, well, they're bad awful. publicity is good you don't publicity. Like bitch sesh? No, I think they're boring. Snooze have you fast. ever listened to them? Yeah, you forced me. Do you guys Go like ahead. any other podcasts, or is this the only one that you're gonna I'm listen to going forward? She's never. You're not podcast. Jenna's listening. never gonna listen to no, this episode. No, she listens like, to a bunch the of this podcast. The Adult Baby Show. It's right in front of you. I think I, I like. Um, I have a bunch, but Jenny McCarthy. True Crime. True. Do you, do you watch? You, you watch all the? Uh, yeah, she watches all those. Do you listen to My Favorite Murder? Do you I watch the ID channel? channel? You're a murderino. Love the ID I'm channel. Sure. It's one of my favorite channels. Did you watch I Am Killer I right or I'm a Killer? I watch on everything. Netflix? Anything about killers and Don't murderers. Don't you feel so bad for that older lady? Like I want her to be. Set I might not free. have seen that episode yet. So good. So good. What are you doing? But ladies, yes, we have sex? a gift for you. What? We what give all that? of our Listen, guests a gift. We we buy no gifts way. for all of our guests. I know what it is. Guess, so. It's a coffee mug. How wow. dare you? <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, you, guys. Go. Oh, my God. It's this like is so priceless. Yeah, it's so now you can show your boyfriend the other, <laughs> the two handsome fellows on your new mug <laughs> that you can keep oh right God. in the kitchen. No, you know what? It's going to take a while to open that. I keep it in my kitchen because it will get Oh, you opened it away. pretty fast. Um, thrown away? Yeah, my roommate throws away all our things. Well, you know, don't keep it <laughs> in a throwaway. I'm going to keep it in my room. All right, This good. is super cute. I can't wait to Instagram it. You yeah. guys can and all follow me. And you guys didn't me. get to meet Chris, so there's Chris Woo! in the red. Yeah, that's Chris over there. He'll be back uh, next week. By Chris in the red. If anyone's watching The Outsiders, Chris looks a little familiar. <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> am I... Am I wrong in that little painting? Yeah, you're right. In that little painting. Who is he? It's ben a Mendelsohn? little like... Yeah. It's a little like the sketches. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm not up to that part yet. Well, yeah. That, I'm yeah, going to watch you're it right and keep beginning. my mug in my hand. Keep your mug like in your hand and... and uh, back and forth. You know, we, we, we have been giving these mugs out now for uh, a couple months now to guess. So, so. like five people have them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, hey, you're not that test. far off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop it. It's it's brand new, but we figure. I know, love it. When so you go cute, on a though. show, so nice. to you, give us your time, we might as well give you something other than our conversation. We really do appreciate you guys coming yeah, on. That wasn't good. Um, I can't wait to um, drink my coffee and think about you. Thank you. <laughs> that's well. That's the reason why we do it. I want you exactly. guys to think about. That's the us. arrogant part in us. We just want everybody just yeah. to be engulfed I'm with us. I'm gonna keep it on my bookshelf. In my that's room. where it belongs. On a bookshelf. I don't drink coffee, so I put things in. Mugs what about instead. tea? I'm a tea drinker I don't myself. Really drink tea. You're weird. I was never a big tea person either, but I'm not a coffee person. Yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm a, a tea drinker. Individual. I'm a tea drinker myself. But um. I think hey, you're trying to get rid of us. We we're not trying to get rid of. No, no, we're not. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just looking um, at the two clocks next to him. Peace, <laughs> heads going both back inside. Nobody wants to listen to this eight-hour podcast. No, that's not true. People will listen. We have we have real good fans. We actually do have an actual. I don't want to call it a following because that sounds weird. But also a, f- a great show with Kevin Bacon from back in the day. <laughs> that was a very good show. <laughs> Fucking loved the. Yes, following. I did too. You guys need to do your own podcast. Can, are we gonna like? You could uh, launch be our spirit guys. Your, yes, you better have us on. And if, if you're you do doing one. shows and stuff, I'd love like to be a recurring it. guest. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. He's already invited himself to movie night, so you might. <laughs> he as- could totally come to movie. I don't think we'll have a podcast, but you could totally come to movie night. All, All right. right. Cool. 
Um, thanks for the invite, guys. Oh, you can go too. Just so you know, (laughs) it's like a full hour argument on what we're gonna watch before it actually happens. Perfect. So just have a little bit of time. I argue with myself. Ready. Picking movies. Oh my god! Right, and then you just get to a point. Sometimes you're just like, just fucking forget. I'm putting on the cooking channel. And then I'm putting on, yeah, something I pull fiction, like a movie I've watched forty fucking times. Yeah. Well. But uh, uh, you guys have been fantastic. Yes, we had a ball. Yeah. This was you a good time. Thank you for time. coming on. We really do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you guys are really great at this. Uh, he gets embarrassed to invite people to his mother's house to do the show. I do. Oh my god, I it's do. just yeah. a lovely house. Don't worry, just we used me. to do it at my mother's house before this. <laughs> yes. Um, but thank you for coming on, Crystal. For I, I, us. I bugged you to come on since you became this big radio star. <laughs> and Jenna, I'm happy that you were able to come on as well as you guys are a duo. Yes, um, <laughs> so, th- thank you for listening to the adult. If you made it this far, <laughs> we appreciate you. Yes, we are and out. We will, we will be back next week with episode. Epi- uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this episode right? 100. Okay. We are back next week. Chris will be back with us. Episode 100. Uh, thank you. We're out. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>